about it enough because he's the one who defined what a canon is. That I, I, any author of a book or a list of books or whatever, he knows what his canon is, whether or not anyone else knows about it or not. If I start writing books, say I write five, no one else knows about it. That's my canon. These five books, I I wrote them, you know, <coughs> it is God speaking through men, inspired by the Holy Spirit. He spoke as men were carried along by the Holy Spirit, and they inscripturated scripture. He said inspired, it's Theodos thought, it's God breathed. So, what, like, did God write the Bible or did man write the Bible? It's both. It's not either or, it's both and. What canon is, what is canon is, and the extent of it, not man. Man is a secondary acceptor of that canon. He's the receiver of that canon. God ensures it is received by his bride, the church. Now, people want to say they want to argue for these other books to give the historical basis for that, because we do have the historicity on our side. We've got Roman Catholic authorities agreeing with us, too. You know, a certain one. Those say, oh, they're, they're, they're just wrong about that. Um, well, <laughs> on a definite thing, the, the Roman Catholic Church wants to say, hey, we're defining this as scripture. I know we got some people that dis disavow the scripture, but hey, we're just a Roman Catholic Church. We can just define it in 1546 and say, here we finally got our canon. Yeah, finally. <laughs> 1,500 years later, finally got a canon. Interesting. The Christian church didn't have a canon until 1546. <laughs> that was right around Martin Luther's time, right? He's about 1400, you know. 1459s in the 16th century, you know. He was antecedent to the Protestant Reformation, so in ration to the Protestant Reformation, they formed the Council of Trent, who made these canonical pronouncements. Canons you know, of Trent. How about, I, I forget how many people were actually at Trent. It wasn't like thousands of people or whatever. It was the convening of uh, some Roman Catholic authorities. And they just instituted these canons, put down some formal writings. Okay, here's our pronouncement. If you deny justification by grace alone and Christ alone, you know. You're an athlete. So you're disavowing the Protestant. Believe that imputed righteousness and righteousness of Christ is imputed to you. Not an infused grace into you. Infused righteousness into you. Then you're an athlete. You read through the Council of Trent. All the anathemas in the Council of Trent. Hands on justification. How about this? <clears throat> Canon 9. If anyone saith that by faith alone the impious is justified in such wise as to mean that nothing else is required to cooperate <laughs> both to the end of grace. I don't like streaming. I'm afraid YouTube will lose the fucking video. Read for read. That's like referrals, reefers, and referees. And it's a referee is a fucking orca. A referee is a fucking killer whale, right? You could become a fucking referee. So if a shark like breaks the rules, you can just fuck it. Just fucking kill them. But or thank you for that. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'll continue. Canon nine, Council of Trent. If anyone saith that by faith alone the impious is justified in such wise as to mean that nothing else is required to cooperate in order to be obtained of grace of justification, and that <clears throat> it is not in any way necessary that he, pre he be prepared and disposed by the movement of his own will, let him be an athlete. Romans 3.23, repeats that, because... By the works of the law, no flesh will be justified from his sight, for through the law comes the knowledge of sin. Romans 3.24 Being justified as a gift by his grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3.28 For we maintain that man is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. For the scriptures say, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. Romans 4.3 Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, Romans 5.1. 1 
For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, Ephesians 2 8. He saved us not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, Titus 3 5. Refuse that canon. Canon 12. If anyone shall say that the justifying faith is nothing else than confidence in the divine mercy pardoning sin for Christ's sake, or that it is that confidence alone by which we are justified, let him be accursed. Canon 12. Canons of Trent. John 1 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, even those who believe in his name. Number 320 again. For we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Romans 4, 3, for what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Hebrews 7, 25-27, Therefore he is able to save forever those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. For it is fitting for us to have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens, who does not need daily like those high priest to offer up sacrifices first for his own sins then for the sins of the people because this he did once for all when he offered up himself second Timothy 112 for this reason I also suffer these things but I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and I am convinced he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day reputation of canon 12 of the Roman Catholic Church Canon 14, if anyone saith that man is truly absolved from his sins and, and justified, because he has surely believed himself absolved and justified, or that no one is truly justified, but he who believes himself justified, and that by this faith alone, absolution and justification are effected, let him be anathema. Canon 14, Council of Trent. Scripture. What does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and was credited to him as righteousness. Romans 4. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 4. Canon 23. If anyone saith that a man is once justified, can sin no more, nor lose grace, and that therefore that he falls in sins that was never truly justified, or on the other hand, that he is able during his whole life to avoid all sins, even those that are venial, except by a special privilege from God, as the church holds in regard to the Blessed Virgin, let him be anathema. John 3.36 He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. John 6.40 For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who beholds the Son and believes in him will have eternal life, and I myself will raise up on the last day. John 10, 28. Jesus says, And I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Romans 5, 21. So that, as sin reigned in death, even so grace would reign through righteousness to eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. 1 John 2.19, they went out from us, but they were not really of us. If they had been of us, they would have remained with us. But they went out, so they would be shown that they were not all of us. 1 John 5.13, these things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Canon 23, repeat the scripture. Canon 24, if anyone saith that the justice received is not preserved and also increased before God <clears throat> through good works, but the said works are merely the fruits and signs of justification obtained, but not a cause of the increase thereof, let him be anathema. Galatians 3, 1-3, you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? This is the only thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish, having begun by the Spirit, are you now being perfected by the flesh? Galatians 5, 1-3 It was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, 
keep standing firm, and do not be subject again to a yoke of slavery. Behold, I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no benefit to you. I testify again to every man who receives circumcision that he is under obligation to keep the whole law. Canon 24, reputed via scripture. Canon 30. If anyone saith that after the grace of justification has been received to every penitent sinner, the guilt is remitted, and the debt of eternal punishment is blotted out in such wise that there remains not any debt of temporal punishment to be discharged either in this world or in the next in purgatory, but the entrance to the kingdom of heaven can be opened to him, let him be anathema. Before I go over these scriptures, Romans 5 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 2, 13 through 14. When you were dead in your transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he made you alive together with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, having canceled out the, cert the certificate of debt consisting of decrees against us, which was hostile to us. He has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. That's when the debt was canceled. Canon 30, refuted via scripture. Canon 33, if anyone saith that by the Catholic doctrine touching justification by this holy synod and set forth in this present decree, the glory of God and the merits of our Lord Jesus Christ are in any way derog der derogated from, and not rather, that the truth of our faith and the glory of our glory in of God, <clears throat> in fine of God, and of Jesus Christ are rendered more illustrious, let him be anathema. Council declares that if anyone disagrees, disagrees with it, they are damned. Okay. The definition of anathema means cursed by God, and you're damned. Every single time they say, let him be anathema. Let them be damned. Disagree with us? You're damned. Statements, comments, questions? Is that helpful? Are they still here? Mm -hmm. Anybody? No, she was. Um, that, that Alexi, Alexi? Uh, I don't know. I messaged them and asked them what they were trying to do or whatever. And they, yeah, something, maybe TV or video. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to kind of get tired. I think I'm going to okay, gonna call it a night. All right. Well, let's have some more com combos, man. I like talking to you. Yeah. You're cordial. Oh, I, well, I mean, at the very least, I hope to learn something. All right. You can kind of got that from me. You can learn some things from me. I'm not mm. Mr. Know it all, just yeah, you know, I can challenge you on some things. They've never done that, got you know, got the t shirts. What's going on? Uh, all right. Well, yeah, oh, not too today. much. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. I'll let you know. I'm on my way out, so Oh, he's on his way out. Oh crap. 
Yeah. Have a good night. All right. Have much. a good night. Right. Yeah. Take care. You too. Dang, it's boring now. There's nobody. I'm still around. It's not going to rain a lot. Come on, guys. Let, let's talk about something. Like, we have to have something. Come on. I just read through the cans of Trent and refuted them. So, miss it. It was great. Wait, 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 wait. What happened again? I was reading through the uh, cans of Trent and refuted them. So. Uh oh. I, th I thought you said somebody came through here and muted me. I was like, what the hell? A lot of people got their mic muted. I don't know why. They're just listening to it. Like, everyone's just listening in. They're like, I don't know. This is running on empty food review, and I'm your host, the report of the week. I don't know what else is. But yeah. People. And they're trying, not even white people, because white people aren't even the best people. White people are not the best people. They're trying to invite Chinese, and they're trying to invite back to Indian people, back to Africa. Right? Because white people are not the best people. The Indian people are this, this is, a, this is a, the idea you think is white people are the best people. It's not. It's, it's just not. But who is like, the best people? Who are the what? best people? A Southeast Asian, like in in IQ wise, Southeast Asian IQ wise. So who right? are the worst people? Who are the worst people? There is no worst people. But if there's it's, the best it's... people, there is a the worst people. No, you're <laughs> you, you have this whole idea. No, I, excuse me. You have this idea of people wrong, right? Because each people developed to their own like habitat. Yeah. Right? All people are great. Right? You can actually make, like... Okay, let's put it this way. Wait, you if just you called made, Africans like, retarded, and now you're saying everyone's Yes, great? because they're not dealing with their resources the correct way that I think... And do you that know I why? No, excuse me. That I personally <laughs> think that is the actual correct way to do it. Right? Like because if I dealt it. with their what? No, if I dealt with their resources, I would deal with it differently, right? Okay. It's not that what they're doing is wrong, right? What they're doing is not like completely wrong, right? What, what, what I yeah, but you didn't have the wrong. same history as. I would never fucking deal with their resources the same way. Yeah, I would, I would like absolutely deconstruct their shit. You can't just like, change the, the people. You have to take into consideration the history what the culture is yeah, absolutely so if you took like a white person from uh, the year zero or something he would be oh no no let's retarded, put it this way right? I, I, I'll put it this way right and I'm not saying white people are like interchangeable I could put a white people in a black society and they're going to end up black what the fuck? Yeah. 
So you're saying that it's not about so just the black. race. Well, they're not going to change black. They will eventually actually so probably change black. So it's not about the black, skin but... color at the end of the day. When you say my it's people, not, you're not talking about what... the skin color. No, Wait, hold on, hold on. absolutely you tripping not. Over yourself. You said earlier the environment didn't matter. Oh, I will matter. say this, you right? You said the environment didn't no, matter. No, it's before, more than... Now it's, it matters. It's, you're just no, contradicting the envir oh, No, it's not. Right? The environment absolutely matters. So why right. you said, skin you color, said skin you would take color white people is bullshit. To Africa for one, skin and they color, would succeed. Skin... That's what you said. If you you're said putting environment skin... doesn't matter. Uh, uh, b bullshit, right? If and you, you put... said now it does. No, excuse me. You put black people in uh, Asia, eventually they're going to start turning white. No, do you understand just, that? Just stay black. No, no, they do. They do. Yeah, in, can in, I ask in white, you? black people. In, in northern environments, actually start turning white at a higher rate. Can well, I ask you this? If they fuck. Well, what are you saying that? Right? Mar, so you're saying if you put someone, right, into another culture, they will automatically assimilate into that culture. No. I mean, so when I went can. to Africa, when I went to Africa, I turned black for a period of time. So he's not one. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You would, you, eventually, your children would turn black. I got on I'm the, saying. I got on the plane, and then I just, just suddenly turn white again. No, no, that is not what I'm saying. It takes generations and generations and generations. No, but in, I'm not talking about generations. Sub, in a sub art. I mean, <laughs> genetics. In an genetics aquatic... is culture. Can you stop eating meals? Are they like genetically worse, inferior, or are you talking about culture? History. He's, 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 he's contradicting himself. Just, he's saying what he was saying was that the, the, the environment is what people evolved to adapt. So so he stop talking. Stop it. So he was Shut the fuck up. Why? Because I told you, that's why. Uh, Mars, don't eat me. Well, I'm sorry, chat. Please tell me where I'm wrong. I don't care. American and, and I just don't chew food in your mouth. I'm trying to talk more with women. Uh, okay, I can understand that. You know, the difference curious, between... Uh, Black female, so black people and white people with different races. I wasn't leaving or anything, I didn't even know you was muted. Genetically, there's not much difference. There is much difference. No, there's only there's one more... gene. There's one gene that controls melatonin production in the skin. That's not a big difference. That is not the only difference between black oh, people and not. white people. It's not. Oh it's... it's not. No, it's yes, not. It's it no, it's the only difference that makes them black, though. Wait, no. Who cares who's black and who's white? No one cares about that. You're a racist, though. I'm not a racist. I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. I have half black. But I mean half black. I mean half. You just said you're racist, though. I thought that was a racist or not. And I don't so care who the fuck is half black or not. Like, like music, like music, sit into a computer one day, and just to see like what happens, you kind of go to sleep, and the computer might be able to subtly change shit every few seconds, every few microseconds, and just kind of like, and eventually just be like, that's it, right? You don't even have to do anything, it'll just fuck around, it'll just experiment, you know, like try to find the frequencies and combinations that make you fucking happy, because I mean, I don't see like electronic, like electronic music, instrumental music.
Worcester or some shit like that. <laughs> Dude, I'm the Prime Minister of Britain. I knew it. Winston Churchill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? Aren't you the one that just got coronavirus? Yeah. Well, uh, hi folks, I'm the uh, I'm here in number. That must be rough. So, do you think the coronavirus is gonna kill the queen? Well, uh, you know, I I saw the queen uh, last Wednesday, and we had a fantastic conversation. And now you have coronavirus, so she's. I I, I think it can transfer through the phone, so maybe she does. Bro, you don't talk to her in real life, bro. That's fake as fuck, bro. Yeah, that's because she is self isolated. Hmm. I don't know. Probably. Has anybody has, like, some... Nah. I hope Boris Johnson. I hope I die. I'm gonna do the celebrity. I hope Trump. Death. I hope Trump gets it and dies. That would be. That would be unique. That would be pretty. Actually, I hope that he doesn't because then I'd get stuck with fucking Mike Pence, bro. <laughs> and Mike Pence is Donald the most Trump boring is way person. Way than Mike Pence. Yeah, Donald Trump is like a never-ending fucking comedy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In fact, I hope he wins four more years, just because it's. Well, so I mean, he must be a complete uh, su suicidal, completely. In your political ideology. Suicidal. Nah. Bro, you what's the alternative? Voting country. for fucking Bernie Sanders, dog? Yeah. I'm not a fucking commie, though. Bernie isn't a commie, though. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> yeah, but even if he were, is ideologically, what he's proposing to do isn't communist. Eh, but come on, can you really trust the guy who's ideologically a communist? Well, firstly, I didn't necessarily agree that he is, although I don't know. And secondly, uh, he's not going to... What he's going to do is actually quite sensible. Like, if you look at um, social democracy in Scandinavian countries, it's quite... Yeah, bro, but they got small white populations, bro. Hmm. How does that affect... Uh, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Norway is, like, the size of, like, South Dakota, man. Like, do you think that the governments are going to scale upwards at such a to figure out what I'm looking at and then I realized it's just a fucking dick pic man but like I couldn't figure out what it was because I was expecting a girl yeah that's a lie yeah you're right I'm sorry it was just staring at a dick for no good reason yeah you stare at dick dude it's good luck in some cultures staring at dicks <laughs> yeah. do girls do any jokes like that each other yeah. oh, look here, here's some bubble gun just kidding that's my tit i've seen like on feet like reality shows like girls being like boo punch boo bro where's punch? my poker bruh wait did you say boo punt like kick her in her boobs like like these girls would like hit each other in the boobs and think it was funny oh uh, that's dumb bean dip Ooh, girls are fucked up. They touch each other's boobs like in front of people like it's nothing. Yeah, well, no, no, nobody calls them lesbians either. You Not that I want to touch some dude's breast, but just saying. It's kind of weird the sexual element we reserve for. Actually, no, it's not. It's because we like it. Let's be real. Yeah, I mean, but here's the thing too. Because the reason I just changed my mind is that the, is that the reason boobs are so pronounced on humans is like when you look at apes and stuff and you see how big their asses are. You know, they have those enlarged, like, red butts. The boobs and lips of a woman satisfy the same um, type of evolutionary design where you, you find that attraction and see the um, basic dude, ability to... Dude, when you said how apes have bigger asses, I almost said a race. <laughs> almost, dude. But it wasn't what? funny, so I didn't I say it. What? Like, like, like you dodged it, and then you told us all you were going to say. It's, yeah, what's the point? <laughs> so then I just get, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm withholding myself, dude. Hmm. Like, like, just played yourself. No, I'm being good, bro. What's the most... Have you guys ever turned down a woman that was coming on to you? Like, yeah, within her room and, like, left? 
I, now, I mean, not within yeah. a room, because I don't get within a room with women I'm about to, re I, I would reject, I mean. This 4 foot 11 what blonde you got chick. into the room and you didn't know? Bro, this 4 foot 11 blonde chick named Jessica, I was like 17, and uh, she was wearing some leggings without no underwear, and I could see through them, right, no matter how. She has no bedroom door, right, so her grandma's like in the fucking living room. And she jumps on my la lap and says, play me like the PlayStation, because I was playing Hitman 2. Bro, that shit was so creepy, I left. I just walked out. Was she hot? Yeah, I mean, she was alright. It was just like, dude, it was weird. Playing no, that's gay. Weird. I turned down ugly chicks. I mean, everybody's attracted to their own fate. It's not like... If it wasn't even, she was my friend. Moment, yeah, she was my friend. I didn't even know she was gonna be like... <laughs> How's that? Friends show their clam. Hans, there. get the flame waffer. I turned down a girl once that tried to turn me on by showing me her head-to-toe sunburn. And it was just peeling everywhere, and I, I left. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? That's some weird shit. That's some American shit. I can't imagine that happening to me. Well, it's just like... She just, I think she's just trying to have an excuse to take a dress off. She's like, look how bad my sunburn is. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. To be real with you, I live in a pretty small city. This whole country is a pretty small country, too. Like, a lot of people it? know each other. Israel. Okay. Oh, yeah, you don't know where I'm from. I'm from Israel. Yeah, so <laughs> so it's different here. The, the women act differently. They're less there open. Are women there? Yeah, we got uh, the, the best part about the, the women here is that it's a mix. You got South American women. You got American women. Europeans. You got... Middle Eastern woman, Asian woman, Ethiopian woman, whatever you want. You and they're all Israel? Jewish. What? Are you from Israel? Yeah, yeah, I was born here. Lived here my whole life. Why do you, maybe I'm being ignorant, but why do you have no accent whatsoever? Because I spoke to a bunch of African Americans while playing San Andreas multiplayer. For you know years. what, when you just said multiplayer, I could hear it very, very slightly. Yeah, but I have the R. The R is fucked. Like, when I say murder, it sounds weird, right? Murder. Uh, when you said multiplayer, it was something about the way you said it that I caught multiplayer. it. Multiplayer. I'm not sure. But that's when I heard it, but before I didn't. Yeah, it's the occasion, like, you see, like I say occasionally, you say occasional, whatever, stuff All like I that. All I know is I can't find my fucking poker, dude. So I wanted to bust out the... Poke who? My poker from my one hitter, dude. Bro, I can't wait to smoke weed again. I just have to get through this drug test with this new job, and then I'm gonna be oh. done. Sounds like shit. I'm high as fuck. It's only medical prescription I have is marijuana. Is Israel is weed legal in Israel? Nah, it's uh, decriminalized. Oh, okay. Did you have to? Uh, well, obviously you did, right? You had to join the army while you were there, right? Yeah. I mean, it's decriminalized, but don't get like, don't get it fucked up. Like, so my phone is still at the police station because they claim I helped somebody get weed from a dealer. Would you ever live somewhere else, or do you love living there? Uh no, nah, dude. First chance I get, U.S. or Canada. Oh, really? Yup. Why? Financially. What do you mean? There is a lot less chances to uh, move on to where I believe I can be in life. In my country, than in the U.S. or Canada, for example. Why is that? Just because it's so small. It's uh, really small, and you have to be connected. And I come from a Russian family; it's a pretty small family. I don't have much connections unless I want to go be a nurse. Like my whole family are fucking nurses at the hospital. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I could study here. I could make decent money. But I couldn't become like, uh, I don't want to, how do I say without sounding delusional, basically? I don't, ha I don't, I don't feel I have the opportunity to become a millionaire here without working really hard. Like extremely hard, like 10 times harder than somebody would have to in the U.S. Well, in the U.S. it's not very easy to become a millionaire either. I mean, you have to be lucky or just a workaholic uh, or both, you know, I mean... My coworker was making a million dollars at one point a year, um, but she was working 18-hour days. To me, that's just not worth it. I mean, wherever you are, you can just invent something, and you can make a lot of fucking money. Depending on if sure, you market bro. it well, and there's a demand. I'm 23, dude. At 23, it's a bit late to start like planning to invent something if I don't have the previous knowledge. Oh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I mean, I'm 27. What I'm making right now is like 103 per year, 104. That's good. I'll tell you the degree I want to learn. It basically includes coding, uh, 
an internet and uh, basically network security. Yeah, my degrees are in uh, accounting and business administration. I'm gonna pick up some coding soon as well. There's no way that boat actually goes that fast. Totally, dude. No, oh, don't beach, don't beach. Am I right or wrong? Uh, it could go that fast, yeah. It's like got no weight, it's just mostly an empty hull with a big ass motor. True. Dude, could you imagine how terrifying it was getting on the fucking beach? Oh um, god, like a D-Day? Fuck, dude. Coming out of the boat and just getting gunned down. Oh my god. Dude, dude, some of those people never made it out of the boat. They just fucking got mowed down by fucking heavy machine The guns. boats were terribly designed. They should have had a one or two doors on each side instead of a big door. In the Cause then at least when the door opens, you got a bulletproof fucking, you know. Yeah, they should have made the front, like, armored and then the sides flap down. Yeah. That's retarded. Book. There are a lot of things they should have done. I don't know, man. If someone told me that I was gonna have to get on a boat like that and open up onto a beach, I think I'd really just say no and take me to jail. That's time. not what they told them. They told them the planes went through and cleared the beach. There's only a, a bit of resistance left. That's disgusting. The, the plane swooped for like the whole fucking night before that and then the whole day. But it was just bunkers, they couldn't break through. Damn, I would not want to do that, man. Dude, they fucked up a lot of defense systems, don't get it wrong. Without the planes, they probably wouldn't have managed to get through D-Day, but uh, it wasn't enough to avoid lots of casualties. Yeah, the planes were considered a failure. What war would you most not want to fight in? I'd probably go with either the Civil War or Vietnam. Civil War. I would want to fight in the Revolutionary War. You, you wouldn't have fought the Civil War? Hell no, nah, dude. I mean, I don't know the full context of what I know. Usually, like, the Democrats tough. and Republicans start going to war with each other now. There's a lot of family against family, too. Like, brothers fighting against brothers. Yeah, and 630,000 Americans died. So, but it was for goals casualty. that wouldn't wouldn't have otherwise been achieved, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. The question is, are those goals worth that war, basically? No. Uh, yeah, the ending, the the start of the ending of slavery, I think so. Yeah. I've seen an argument that slavery would have ended. Uh, it would have ended like, anyway. eventually, anyway. And even if it took 50 years, it would have still ended. Yeah, that didn't happen, did it? Well, I mean, I don't know. There's just arguments I've seen. I'm not arguing that because I don't have enough knowledge. I think Vietnam would be a really bad war to fight in, too. The fucking tunnels and getting trench foot and in this jungle where it's crazy hot all day and raining and the rot and the disease and ugh, I would not want to do that war. Yeah. Are you asking what it is? Or? I was just saying trench foot. Yeah, you're lucky that Luke's CIA offered it, alright? She knows who's there. Nah. Yeah, Spook, you're an agent. Oh, you're just... <laughs> Brother, you know, actually, what would be probably the worst is when the Germans were invading the Russians on Russian soil. That would be horrifying. Just freezing and starving to death. And, oh. Fun fact the Germans started losing the war before the winter. Yeah, because we gave, we gave Russia all the shit. Lindley's yeah, and they gave all the men. Russia would have been dead in like two weeks. Uh, no, Russia, what? No, yeah, Russia. You, you gave them power. most of their military. You That's historically that, right? inaccurate. No, it's not, bro. Yeah, like don't do this. Isn't Russia you don't want to do this. They're selling bread. No, no, you don't want to do this. Dude, what the fuck is this moron doing? Yeah, I'm watching you. That was cringe. I don't know why you did that. You fucking dumb piece of shit.
that you really like in this game is that there's a death cam that shows where you just got killed from. So that way you can't like maintain a sniping position. Yeah. That always frustrates That's part of the point though. Yeah, but why shouldn't you be able to? You just you have to think through where they're probably sniping from and then go after them. Not yeah, just like Because right realistically, you couldn't just sit and snipe like that. In, in a respawn like this, you'd have to move. And to, to, this is a bunch of kids playing, so there's no trackers, there's no people marking your location. So this is basically just matching the realistic equivalence of a sniper having to move every time. Oh, I got sniped. <laughs> Like, you need to remember, you, you don't spawn right there. It's, it's rare that you get to spawn where you just died, so... Mo like, you take the risk if you go back to where you th the sniper was, because he could be looking at that location now. Yeah, jump on. What's your, uh, origin name? We just got Battlefield 5 here. Okay. Dude, where's my fucking squad mate, dude? It's me, dude. I'm in an airplane. Oh my god, dude. I'm in providing good bombing runs for you guys. What? Why'd I die then? Why didn't you bomb Let's the dude trying to kill me? I asked you, where are they? You didn't say a damn word. Oh god, that's a tank right there. I thought it was a friendly. <laughs> Uh, a, near the bunkers on the beach side. Well, the, uh, the one side. I don't know which side, dude. Both sides are beach sides, so. Not the tunnel side, the uh, opposite of the tunnel. Who else is playing right now? Chinese virus? No. No. I'm playing Pokemon. Oh, wait, I don't know. Yeah, that's Chinese food. I'm Chinese virus. Oh, oh, shit. My bad. Wait, which, which, is Battlefield 5 old or new? New. Wait, I had Battlefield 1. Oh, I got the fucking air thing. God damn it. Bro, I'm getting shot down right now. Finally. Oh, they finally got me. I need to upgrade my plane where I can actually spin around and shit. I think that's joystick, dude. Do I say tank or plane tank? Let's get it. Uh, I think plane... I've seen a video. I, I, well, you know what? I was telling you that not every person with an insane KDR is a hacker, because I've seen videos. Let's say, okay, I'll help you fix your computer. Take a magnet and run it over the motherboard or, uh, you know, whatever. And really? you know, like, Wait, you guys, you guys remember the broom challenge where, like, a, like, a fake uh, NSA account just made a joke about only brooms could be on off, uh, could stand up straight this one day, and then, like, it got viral? I don't remember the broom Yeah, those are all just thought of. The point is, a state-sponsored version of this kind of attack, I don't would do significant damage to our country. But maybe no, I wouldn't. I, I mean, it would only point. hurt stupid people. Yeah. We're not really vulnerable. To I'm not attacks. saying that China couldn't do like a campaign and get some get dumb kids to like kill themselves. And you know, we could have a reasonable amount of deaths. But it's not no, gonna, we can do counter campaigns. Do significant damage. Like, China's not actually very good at this. They actually import like our like C and B to try to like do their own version of this in their own country but china like controlling perspectives and manipulating people yo what's going on it's not it's kind of late um it's 2 20 or so i was gonna go have a smoke and then probably take a bath i could bring the microphone in if you have time if you're up late and you want to talk a bit um about whatever let me know if like i'm looking i've been jumping around in rooms a lot uh, I was going up through the rooms in uh, politics just now, and, and then I saw you in another room, and I went to click and see what kind of rooms you're in, and you were gone again before I even clicked on it. Um,
Yo, what's up, bro? Thomas! What's up? Yo, I'm trying to get, uh... Trying to get Rise in here. Because... I love Rise. Rise is fucking hilarious, dude. She's crazy like me, in a way. Oh, she's up top. What is she doing? Dude. I did get... Uh, Fuck, I just need to get caught up there. I wanted to talk away from, I didn't want to bother Fia or uh, Sammy. Oh shit, there's our girl. What's up? I've seen your live shit, so, yeah. You sound a little tired? It's like shut down completely. Oh, you really locked down hard, right? Shit. Yeah. Going a little bit, Going what about you? Is it like no? Down? It's not that bad. I mean, we're, I'm completely on the other side of the state. It's uh, it's pretty chill here. We, I mean, I don't try to push it. I go grocery shopping, but they let us hang out at the park and smoke and smoke weed and fucking drink coffee and shit. So it's not too bad here yet. It might not get that bad because we're not that concentrated. Yeah, that's true. So uh, how things have you been? Working on <coughs> <coughs> yeah, uh, same. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't. I, maybe I got COVID just now. I've been doing the same shit, but mad hours rise. So many fucking hours a day. It's, but it's good. Like last night, I got like a show. I got on video. I had a vote to ban me. I won like eight to three. It was all good. <laughs> and like I found it. This I called for a vote to ban me. I was like, listen, if you ever get a vote in live voice. Um, to, uh, to ban me, I'm gone. And I got, I won eight to three, so I'm getting stronger. In here? Or in no, 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 in here. I, I'm not in my room right now. Like, I mean, I might send you a message there, but like, I'm still working on how to wield my own character, you know? So it's the most entertaining basically. Cause if people don't, you can't get to the depths with people unless they care about you or your story first. Right. So. Yeah. I try to drag them down a thousand feet, and then they're just like, you're fucking crazy, dude. You're not a submarine. Like, you can't protect me. It's crazy. and But it's fun. It's been it's been really great. I mean, I don't, I'm only, like, I'm recording these episodes with my kids every day because it's been raining, and if it's raining, she doesn't want me coming in the house because she thinks I'm a dirty bum bitch. Like, and uh, <laughs> so I just have been FaceTiming them and, and working all goddamn day. I've never really been fully comfortable. You know, I was awkward as a kid. I was kind of goofy, and, and I thought talked too much. And just now at 46, finally, there'll be like probably a 10-year period when I can actually be the person I was supposed to be, and, and then I'll be really old, and I'll just hopefully I'll chill the fuck out. But you've been all right, though? I know you obviously have been dealing with a lot of shit, like a lot of dynamics. Yeah, um, and I've been like, I guess, less than like putting out actual content, but like really doing some like, thinking, trying to organize, like, kind of where I'm coming from, where I'm making points, trying to synthesize, like, what I'm trying to say, because um, I want to be able to put it in a clear, concise, you know, that's, example. That's huge. Picture. Yeah, and so I, that's where I'm trying to, like... We need, we need, some, like, I think this is, I love this basic concept, like, I want to do that, too. And hopefully, moving forward, we figure out how to do that so we can line our shit up, right? You get all your shit together, all, all the, like, and then you get all your shit together, and then we can just kind of press a button. It'll show us our overlapping shit, you know? Like, show us if there's something we don't have together, that we both need to get together. And, except, like, because it's hard for people to get their shit together, and I want to be able to help them do it. Yeah. But, yeah, we're both pretty pretty scattered, so getting... Getting things concise and put together probably make a bigger difference for people like us than anybody. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially like when I can give an example and I can make it like kind of go across various different like lines of thought. That that's really kind of the key is because I'm trying to bring together concepts or try together together like um, things that aren't usually put together, you know. I mean, I, oh, fuck, I'm in the wrong place. I kind of think of it like this a little bit. Like, I have all these things that I want to say, right? And I know that I, I'm not great at reaching everybody. So I always hope that instead of like, kind of a, a, a geometric uh, multiplication network, like maybe I have you and 11 other people that I really like, you know, and if I have something I really need to say, I say it with you guys, right? I sit down, like, we get, we get the board of directors together. Whenever everybody's got time, we sit down and I explain it to, I explain it to all of you. <laughs> and then all of you much more quickly and with less stress, just explain it to your friends. You know, like a game of telephone, you just say in your own words. And then there's 12 different kinds of message that are based in this thing, you know? And then that gives you a much better chance of having those messages actually propagate, like, and, and spread out to reach the people who, who want to see those ideas, but won't see them if, if, if nobody, like, makes them popular, if nobody accepts them. I'm pretty weird, so, like, to be able to take my ideas and thoughts and, and have them expressed by other people in a game of telephone, I think, creates a kind of translation that would let each of them be far more, like, the idea be far more uh, effective at reaching people. Um, yeah, just say far-reaching. Far yeah, wide and far-reaching, like, to set it out yeah. in every direction. The best version, you know, the best version would rise to the top also, right? Like, maybe yeah. one of them... Maybe Thomas hears something and he's like, fuck, I, and then he says it, and he says it so well that his just dominates, right? Like everybody who ever sees that idea sees Thomas's version and, you know, royalties. Thomas, Thomas performs that idea or rewords it and, and, and it's great. Fuck it. Thomas should get paid. You know, like these people working with their brains got to get paid. Like they got to eat too. That actually made a lot of sense. Not going to lie. Like, see, that's pretty intelligent. Well, Rise, Rise is one of my uh, superhero partners, so if Rise is around, I'll do a little better. What's up, Rise? I haven't spoken to you in a while. Hey, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. Where have you been? Um, I've been in the city and, like, just uh, kind of just trying to, I'm trying to think through and kind of like, how to help. But, um, I, uh, I'm looking to be on a little bit more, and I'm just trying to, if once I can kind of, you know, selling, um, you know, selling out. Once I, form, once I can form a, like, kind of a blueprint, at least, of what I'm trying to get across, I think I'll feel a lot better. I'm still kind of working up on that. Oh, and what's up, Sucky? I don't remember you, I think. What's up, son? Rise, this is my son. Do you know Analytica? It's my son. No, I... You were supposed to tell me yesterday, buddy. Tell you what? Oh, shit, I was. Yeah, everybody else advised me not to do it. So you, I, I recall you saying that would make you want to do it more, so are you going to do it? Yeah, maybe you want to do it more, <laughs> but I don't think I will. No, sorry. That doesn't make any sense, right? If it makes you want to do it more, why would you decide not to do it? Because the people who told me not to do it, I usually just tend to go with their judgment against my better wishes. Analytica, Analytica, you can, if you need shit, you can, you can earn it, bro. I'm never talking to you again, Oh, Tofi, stop it. Yo, Rise, you know Tofi? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know the name, but. Stucky Buster, are you there? Yeah, hello. I think I remember you. Probably. I'm sick, please excuse my voice. I can't remember why I know you. Yeah. Hey, Sophia, I saw you, John. Is it this, this, or is it just, like, full? It's ironically COVID. Oh. Right. It's not that bad. I don't have, like, any predisposed issues. We don't have a history. We don't have a history. Yeah, I don't really remember you, but, I mean, I feel like I know you. Were you in Carlism? No, but I met a lot of the people that came out of it. Do you know a lot about philosophy? Not really a lot. Are you an atheist? No. I mean, if I had to be something, yeah, but I'm not going to sit here and philosophically preach for it. Oh, 
was just trying to figure out like why I know you or why I remember you. Who did you hang out with back in the day? <laughs> no one in particular. <sighs> Wait, are you attractive? What? Oh my. Are you attractive? <laughs> what? I'm just trying to figure out like why I would remember you or why like your name would be in my mind. No. It's probably because you're attractive. You should remember Just attractive remember people. attractive people? Is that I mean, they're, they're, yeah, they're pretty... I mean, they're, we're pretty easy to remember, right? Like, we're memorable or something, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Have you seen pictures of me? No. <laughs> Does everyone, like, have to see pictures of you? I mean, I'm pretty cute, so, you know. Oh, my God. Ex Ex the ego on this man. Thomas, what's going on, buddy? I'm going to send her some pictures. Thomas, no, what's up? Why? Uh, wait, they're not, not going to be weird pictures. <laughs> um. Yo, Rise, Rise, are you there? Yeah. What, what did I tell you? <laughs> About what? Just getting something started. Wait, how do you know Rise? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I never, I never, I've never met, I've never met Rise before. I don't, I don't know Rise, crazy guy. I thought you, I thought your name was, I thought your name was Alexi. My name's Bacon Bone. How are you? Are you getting the picture, Sucky Bus? Look at Thomas, Thomas is jumping in the room and pimp out. Look at that. Damn. Yeah, but why? <laughs> <laughs> Selfies. I got pictures, right? Oh, oh fuck. Gemma, here's one of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I need advice. What happened? Um, I'm starting middle school in the fall, and I'm really nervous about it. <laughs> well, I mean, if COVID has anything to do with it, you might not have to be too nervous. It might just make you stay at home. But on a scale of one to ten, like. Oh, Thomas, right. please stop harassing this poor young woman. This is not harassing. <laughs> this is adorable flirtation. <laughs> yeah, flirtation isn't like, supposed to be one sided. I'm like, I'm like a seven out of ten. <laughs> I mean, you can make it not one sided. Like, you have that power within you. Let's talk to Alexi just a second. Would you want to flirt with me? Uh, not yeah. particularly. I'd rather flirt with Succubus. Oh. Who is it? Jackie? I don't even know. She might not be attractive, but she has a good enough... Jackie is bacon. Voice. Thomas, bro, I'm sick. Yeah, it makes you even better. No! Are you making your voice deeper on purpose, Thomas? My voice is actually really high right now because I'm smiling. Wait, is that Jackie? No. Thomas, this was an experiment. But who is talking? That's, uh, I mean, that's Ryan me. Was talking to Alexia. Alexia? Ale Sorry, Alexi. Hey, Alex. It's not Rise. It's, it's Jackie, right? It's fucking no, Rise. Fuck? Oh. Sucky bust. Make it not one-sided. I wanted to talk to Rise in, in the puppy room. Advocate you for flirting on the internet. Bro. Yeah, you can get a lot of money out of me. That's so weird. Just ask Toby. Stop it. What the heck? Why would you make yourself a, a commodification? He won't give you any money. I think you I just like make to think of it as wealth redistribution. Also, that's not. That's not. Yes, that's are not you a, a, are not you a, a word commie? Word. Is that a commie I hear? I think you just meant commodity. Commodification. No, I just believe that the wealth is unfairly concentrated. With a certain demographic and I need to read Bro, succubus. Succubus. Bro. Wait, I, I can give you a philosophical argument why you ought to flirt with me. Okay, ready? Okay. Premise one attractive people ought to stick to their own kind. Premise two I'm attractive. Premise three you are attractive. Conclusion It just follows, bro. It just follows. Right. Um, how many times does this work? 
Uh, I've never tried it before. <laughs> I felt like you were worth it. Oh my goodness. So anyway. Yeah. Is it Jackie that was talking? Because I swear to God. You're an idiot. Jackie Bone Jackie. is bacon. Rise talk to me for a moment. Then I pretended to be me talking back to Jackie, who is bacon. No, Jackie's not even here. Jackie Bone is bacon. It's just the but name. Jackie's not here. No, no, of course. That's uh, some 4D chess. <laughs> I was going to say, like, the person who was talking, I thought, I thought Jackie was the one with, like, the, the high voice that everybody pretends is in a troll. Oh, that's, no? Oh, no, that's, um, you're thinking of, like, another person. You're thinking of a, a bun. You're thinking of bun. Uh, bun? Pay attention no, but to me. Speaking. I'm sorry, I, I can't pay attention to any other females with succubus here. Th Thomas, take a breath. Okay. You're in the middle of an experiment. And you're fucking up. <laughs> Alexi, take a breath. <gasps> Bro, I think your dad has been trying to court her for like months. I might as well shoot my shot now. So how do you know succubus? And that you, and... I can't remember how I re like remember her to recognize. Succubus, you got a selfie I really for us? I think I talked to her before. Might as well blow your lip. That's weird. Well, that's 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 bacon. I think post that clarity is very important. Post that clarity is a thing. If you can if you can get to that, that's great. Yeah, I get post that clarity. It's very good. Second bus, is that uh, profile picture yours? Yeah. I was right. You are right. Oh my god, thank you very much. No, 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 that's not, that's not it. Well, I mean, I could compliment oh you, but like, I was, I was not attempting to compliment oh. you. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to, like, I was, I was wanting to confirm you. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, 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 you can thank me if, if you're actually, like, thankful. Thank you for permission. You guys, just, just, just tell me what you're like. No! Thomas, Thomas, can you get her to go into the room above with you, you think, maybe? I, I think anywhere I go, why don't you go make, like a, make a love show? Anywhere I go, she's going to go in the opposite direction at this point. I think I might have uh, I might have loved this. But what? So I figured this room this this room was super quiet, but it needed it just needed a bit of a trigger. Oh, wait, I was saying something. Hold up, hold up. No, no, no. I could compliment you. Like, you are attractive there. That's a compliment. But what I was trying to do earlier was confirm that I was right. I was really interested in me being right or not. Oh, my God. She has a really nice voice, too. She, she does, but this is absurd. Thomas, is that a picture of you? <laughs> I, actually, um, that's before I started working out. I was rather blind. <laughs> then I started working out, and I got built. Mm -hmm. I such us can confirm. Thanks. But yeah, am I doing okay, or is this, this is not working? I can't tell. Thomas, what? This is the worst oh. thing I've heard since, like... Bacon yeah, and me. Genocide. See? No, no, no. Be, be serious with me. Is it this, was is this good. Is this bad? You heard it. Well, I was being serious. T Thomas, doing it occasionally is fine. It's not. It's not charmless. You know what I'm saying? But you're not I the. Asked her if she likes tater tots. Do you like tater tots, Succubus? I'm so sorry, Succubus. <laughs> is there fun dude involved? Bro, her her laugh is adorable. Oh my God. Honestly, if they didn't promise, he wouldn't, he wouldn't believe in money. I'm going to give well, you the money if you need me. That's not as serious as what he just did, though. That wasn't a deal. I'm never talking to you. I'm sorry, I turned you down. So, uh... Do you like anime, sir? I really don't like anime at all. Me neither. I hate anime so much. <laughs> Hold up, speaky, are you trying to take her from me? Like, I, well, dibs is very disrespectful to women, so I'm not going to say I have dibs, but I have dibs. I, I have no interest in this. I'm oh, sorry, you like penis. I am bisexual. Oh, my bad. Bisexual tranny. Succubus, what do you think of bisexual people? I am transgender, yes. Um, I, I don't know, Dude. I don't really think about transgender or bisexual people. You know, it's crazy. Me neither. Sexes. I don't think about that shit either. It's crazy. Jackie was about to say something and she didn't let him talk. Uh, you know, maybe it was someone else. Oh, I just already did. I said who. 
Oh, okay. You can continue then, Thomas. Well, I mean, I think I really overshot this. Like, I don't know what to do at this point. I really, I think I failed. So, I don't know what to do. You tried your best to not to die, right? I mean, like, I could have, I could have, I could have tried, like, a different approach, I guess. You know, it might actually be the case that I, I don't know how to. Yeah, I've was, I was in like BC for like a Finnish podcast on Flex Storm, and this guy came in and he's like, How are you, Malie? I don't think he said Malie. Basically, he talked about how like he will never have kids and how like miserable he is and how he always gets kicked out of like TCG tournaments because he like stalks me. <laughs> if he had like no idea how to talk to you guys because he was so desperate. Um, succubus. When guys flirt with you and they do often, how does it normally go? Uh, I say, thank you. Have a nice day and. Continue minding my own business. No, no, no. I mean, like, what do they normally do? I don't know. It's not. There's not like a like a status quo or something. Really? No. Oh. I kind of thought they'd be like. Go ahead, uh, babe. I mean, some people are just really childish and they're not really flirting with you. They're like being mean to you. Oh, well, that's kind of cute, right? That's what I used to do. Oh, guess not. I used that to that happened that. in my, like, work environments. Oh. oh and, uh, I have, like, a lot of expectations for my coworkers. So I had this one coworker. His name is Roger. And he's, like, really desperate for love. He, like, lets girls stay at his house for free and stuff. He wants, Jeez. like, to have sex with them, obviously. But, you know, like, free, so... And he's not, like, trying to marry them or have a future or anything. And uh, when he realized that I had no interest in him whatsoever and just wanted him to do his job well and right, he uh, started being mean to me and whispering about me to other people, saying how I was bossy and mean. <laughs> so I told my boss, I was like, I don't really feel comfortable with this happening. Can you stop it before it gets worse? But now he comes to me and asks me for girl help. So I don't know. I'll ask you for girl help. I'm like, I'm desperate at the point. Obviously. Okay. You got some. So let's just say, let's let's pretend I was interested in you. And now let's say, how would I be able to engage you in conversation in a way that you would enjoy? maybe even throw some flirting in there. How would that work? It wouldn't. Oh, shit. Are you older than him? I'm 23. Yeah, you hey, are. I'm, I'm old enough. So I guess I am. You are older than him, yeah. So what's, 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 what's a few... Tell him just want to be friends with him. What's a few years? What's it's, it's a world. I just want to be friends. Bro, it's, don't it's a, say that. Th Thomas, it's a I world of difference. I never want to talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> she's kidding. Thomas, just calm down. I'm, I'm mostly teasing, but I also don't want to flirt with people on the internet. Good shit. Uh, we could meet in real life, but I feel like that's way too soon for that. So. No, no. I have social anxiety. That's a no-go. Yeah, that is good reason to be, like, anxious okay. around. Please shut Thomas up. Absolute like, racism. One time, this black guy asked me for his phone number. Or, for my phone number. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, I don't do that. And he totally thought I meant I don't give my number to black guys. <laughs> but I meant I don't give my number out. So I had to, like, easily, really quickly tell him that that's not what I meant. I don't know, but he was obviously super... I don't do that. 
I was like, I'm sorry. Like, and I was at work too. So I was like, I'll give you, you know, my boss's number. And he's like, well, can I just have your number? And I was like, I don't do that. And that's when it happened. So I'm going to tell you how this is going to go. I'm going to tell you how this is going to go. It was because it was raised. So in this community. You totally thought that's what I meant. So in this community, people, especially newer people, often get attacked, right? But considering our history, such a bust. If someone ever attacks you, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just like swoop in, right? And uh, I'll, I'll take. I'm not really that right. new to this community yes. because this community is actually new. That didn't fall. Like, that didn't fall. Like a lot of them came from Godless's server, and then there was Modus Ponens, yeah. and then there was Tom's unboxes. And now, is the, now there's this one. So it's like, they're not really new. I've kind of met a lot of these people. But thank you. Oh, he's asking for Thomas to be banned. Tofi. He's that just mad I wouldn't give him money. That one's gonna... I mean, that's a fair reason to be mad, but... <laughs> Thomas needs to be banned. I mean, it's okay to do it, but is anyone gonna take him seriously next time is the question. No, it's okay. I was gonna say, whoever's doing shut up, but it's Tofi, so it's okay. Go ahead, Tofi. <laughs> so Hello Batman. Hey, hey Mr. Batman. It's not morning. <laughs> and we're not boys and girls. Did you actually just wake up? Three AM where I'm at. Did you just wake up? Mr. Batman? I think he just fell asleep. <laughs> Did you just wake up? Oh my goodness. Are you afraid of the COVID? Nope. Are you predisposed to any problems? Oh yeah. Oh no. But you're praying, right? Yeah. Not about that. Oh. Hmm. Why are you not worried? What are you praying about? personally scared. I'm scared for other people. Give her the gospel, Mr. Better. I've heard quiet. it. I feel like Mr. Better is quiet. Yeah, yeah he is. Um, Mr. Batman, what are your thoughts on marriage? I will, I will buy you your shit if you meet me IRL. All right, what was your question, sir? Oh, I was asking, like, what are your views on marriage? Like, do you think marriage is an ought for young men and women? Oh, absolutely. It's an yeah. ought for everybody who wants to have the, the blessing of sex. I really want that blessing, but at the same time, like, <laughs> I, have, I have issues. Oh, yes, sir. It's quite obvious you have issues. The longer, the longer you. I think I know what you're. I think I know what you're referring to. But could you expand a little bit more? Well, yes, sir. If you don't understand how the Bible says to uh, relate to a woman, a person of the opposite sex, uh, then you're going to have some massive problems in this real world. What do you What do you mean? Are you implying that I don't think I, or that I don't know how to relate to a woman of the opposite sex? Can you be more specific? Yes, sir. How do you love your wife if you do have one, sir? Or if you ever think about having one? What does it look like for you to love your wife? Sacrificial love. You're supposed to love her like you love your own flesh, because in, in a sense, she is your own flesh. Hmm, where do you get that, sir? Uh, there's a Bible verse that says that. Oh, so you're a Christian? Uh, I try to be. I'm a bad Christian. Yes, that, sir. You are either a Christian or you are not. That's called a dichotomy. Now, sir, 
Are you a Christian? Yes, I claim to believe in Christ. And yes, Father. Yes, sir. Again, a person, everybody knows that there's a God. Everybody knows Christ. But do you act on it, sir? Do you act accordingly? Do you do what the Bible says do? I, I sin. So, I mean, I, yes, I do, but I also sin. Problem, so. though, sir, all sinners have all sinners have their place in the lake of fire. That's for I didn't say I was a sinner. First nine, sir. I didn't say I was a sinner. I said I sin. Oh, well, right. You said all people sin. Yeah, that makes me a sinner. I'm not a sinner. Do you not sin? Do you sin, Mr. Bevan? Do you want to sinner? Oh, I remember. Mr. Batman believes that he doesn't sin anymore. Oh, no, sir. I said I'm a former sinner saved by grace. I keep the Torah. I no longer sin, sir, because sin is violation of the Torah. Sin is breaking God's law, his instruction. I don't do that anymore, sir. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make sense to people like you because the good news of the gospel of the kingdom is foolishness to people like you who are perishing. Mr. Batman, I need advice. Of course you do. You need to follow God. Try. You I cannot try. understand what a sin is unless you have God's Torah, His law. Sin is violation of the Torah. Well, and you gotta start by not being trained anymore. Well, how do you know what a sin is? Or a woman, or whatever you're pretending to be. This book, written by dozens of people over the course of 300 years, and never met each other, tell me what I was saying. I'm sorry, I don't know what book you're referring to, sir. Because if you're referring to something other than the Bible, you have a problem. Speak. Speak. Are you pretending to be a man or a woman? I'm not sure. What's the problem? I'm sorry, sir. Again, the problem would be you don't know Torah. And until you understand what Torah is, instruction, then you don't know what you're doing wrong. You see, you cannot know right and wrong without God's standard, his instruction. Well, I, like, I, I personally never read it, but I read a lot of people that tell me. It's okay. You don't have to read it. The The law is written on your heart. Actually, you do need to read it because you know some very basics about the law, but you cannot have salvation without it. I mean, you can't really have salvation through the law. You'd have to keep it perfectly. I mean, oh, I do well, keep the see, law perfectly, I'm just, sir. I'm, I'm mm, that's I'm impossible. But I don't get I salvation through the law. So salvation cool. doesn't come through the law. Salvation comes through Messiah, who kept the law perfectly. You just claims that you kept Torah, the law sir. perfectly. The fact of the matter is, Jesus kept the Torah perfectly, so he could be the propitiation for your sins, a substitutionary sacrifice. A substitutionary atonement. Now, sir, let me ask you a question. Can you show me where in the Bible where any type of human sacrifice will pay the price for your sin? Can you show me that? Uh, Hebrews 9 talks about that. I'm sorry, sir, what? I said Hebrews 9 talks about Can it. Can you quote that for me, please? I don't really want to pull it up right now. I know you don't want to do that, sir, because it doesn't say that at all. Human sacrifice will not pay the price for your sin, sir. Was Jesus a human? Hebrews 9. It doesn't was say Jesus, Hebrews 11. Was Jesus it doesn't a human? say that in the Romans either, sir. Was Jesus so where human? Where do you get that human sacrifice can pay the price for your sin? Was Jesus human? Yes, Jesus is human. Did Jesus sacrifice himself for us? Sir, what gives him Answer, the right to do so? Uh, Again, question. yes, he is the substitutionary Answer. sacrifice for our sins, the, the propitiation for our sins, sir. But Answer. I'm asking you a very laser beam focused question. The question. Why Answer. would it be possible yes. for any person oh, he to said be yes. able to pay the price for another person's sin right. by dying awesome. for them? That's human sacrifice. So, show me where human sacrifice if takes Jesus the place was a of human your sin, sir. And Jesus sacrificed him for self. I'm sorry, for so us. show me where that's legal. Show me that's, that's human sacrifice. Show me Get it he now, doesn't. Big boy. So show me how that saves you. So if Jesus was a human and Jesus I'm sorry, sacrificed sir, you're too stupid to have this conversation, but have a nice day. I think then he was a human sacrifice. You're getting it, Mr. Batman. You're getting it.
Yes, with the heart. Hey, Mr. Him. Batman, why why are you too much of a coward to go up against David 1769 on the teachings and the so followings of the law? Who doesn't understand what the gospel says? They make up crap as they go along to make themselves feel better. That's called a form of mental masturbation. Uh, I mentally masturbate over philosophy. Oh, I don't no, doubt that, sir. You're quite a pervert. Why does God have such a bloodlust? This is what I always wonder. Do you want to hear all the perverted shit I do? Don't ask him questions. Why do you think God has a bloodlust? He might answer. Uh, yesterday. You know, you, you perverts need to go have a little private chat. So what makes you think God has a bloodlust, sir? Uh, a woman. What was blood required? Speak was blood required up? to sacrifices all throughout the Old Testament history? Hmm. Actually, sir, blood was required uh, to show that you owed a debt that you had not yet paid. It's not really a sub uh, that wasn't a sacrifice so much as it was a marker. Um, what are you talking about? What is it? What do Christians always say? The blood of debt. Christ. Yeah, the blood, the of, blood Christ. of Christ was blood necessary. Christ. Why does Why, God sir? have such a bloodlust? Why? He doesn't have a bloodlust, sir. He has justice. Where does justice come from? Why did he need blood? Sir. Why did God have to divorce us? Do you know why? You see, this is what I was asking the, uh, Mr. Sir, uh, Sir Thomas down why here, the he idiot. Sacrifices is atonement. Sir, again, because we screwed up. We were unfaithful to God. God divorced us. Do you not understand this? So the grand master deity of the universe needed animals? Most sacrifices? No, sir. He didn't need anything. It's a marker to point us to the fact that we still who owe commanded us paid. to do? Who sorry, commanded sir. people to do lower it? Lower your volume a little God bit because apparently you're too stupid. Yeah, to who have commanded it, Mr. Well. Batman? Who God God commanded it? commands us to do these things, sir, because it's right. in our best interest. So oh. you don't seem to understand <laughs> that God wants us to be reconciled to him, but you don't seem to have a reason why that can so happen. So he did have a bloodlust. So unfortunately, okay. you have a problem. But you don't seem to understand why it's wrong for you to be a pedophile. Why is it wrong for you why to be did, a pedophile, why did, sir? I, we're still back. I'm still not leaving the original question. Yes, sir. You said why that is he it didn't need it. To be a pedophile, sir. We're not. So we're not done. We're not done with. We're not. No, we're not done because you're you're you're, 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 you're so God scared of this original question. I'm sorry, sir. You're you are so scared of this question. Why sacrifices so badly? You said he didn't, yet he commanded us to do them. Why, sir? God commands us to do things, but you don't know why. And now you're pissed off because you can't understand it, and you make up crap as you go along. I've heard Again, Andrew. I'm so trying God to explain this, this not to you. Me. No, not I am listening because he's not you know, anywhere he's close to me. You just want to mouth off and act like you have some kind of moral position when you don't even know why it's wrong for you to be a pedophile. I can hear it in Andrew Kidd's voice. Don't be a pedophile, sir. Well, you just contradicted Batman, yourself, Mr. Batman, because you said God doesn't need the blood I'm sorry, sir. Don't be a pedophile. But then he can man that we know pull up all the scriptures don't be where he pedophile, commands us. Sir. have a nice day uh, all right Toby's turn Toby, what was your question mr analytica thank you uh, oh, i was just gonna you say remember the other loss. day when we asked you which verse the bible says that pedophilia is wrong in and you couldn't answer actually i did answer sir it would be no, deuteronomy chapter 20 like me, deuteronomy chapter 5 and exodus chapter 20 where it says, Did thou shalt not verses? commit adultery. That's the word we actually translate into pornea. And pornea is any sex outside of marriage. In your case, that would Wait, be mild just, sexuality as well, sir. Exactly. So you please, just, do not engage in masturbation no, over Batman, your pedophilia, you're sir. Batman, so. you're, just, you're just asserting no, sir. adultery. I actually Batman, pointed talking. out to you why you're wrong Sorry, again. I'm, I'm, it's I'm amazing I'm Batman, how you Sorry, assholes don't this is pay attention. This is what he does. This is what he does. shut the fuck up. He's talking. Yeah, you're just asserting, right? That no, sir, I don't anything, assert anything. I have knowledge. Shut knowledge is a just sir, about true belief. Sir, you see, I know you things, you and you're just an idiot. But thank you for playing. Anyway, what I was saying was, you're just asserting. Yeah, sir, what you were saying was, is you don't have a reason why it's wrong. All right, you're muted. Anyway. He's going to leave now. What I was now. saying was, you're just asserting, right, that pedophilia is always going to be outside of marriage, but... It's not clear that the Bible is going to agree with that. Like, there's nothing in the Bible that prohibits you from marrying, like, a four-year-old. 
actually, sir, I've shown you over and over again why it's wrong for you to be a pedophile. And you don't seem to like that information. That's why you want to keep purporting that pedophilia is okay. Don't be I a pedophile, sir. Where, Please where in the stop Bible? engaging Sorry, where in, in the... your pornographic pedophilic behavior. Why are you so focused on pedophilia, Mr. Vat? Ob the because there's lots of pedophiles disgusting. in here, like you, sir. Where in the Shut Bible the does up. it say it's wrong to have said, or to, sorry, to marry a four-year-old? He's like obsessed yeah. with it. I don't understand. He's a lot. Sorry, I'm it. obsessed with morality, sir. And you, Batman, are you do gonna not have question? any morality. Where in the Bible does it say it's because wrong? guess what? Can you I think it's okay to be a pedophile. Fucker? Don't be a pedophile, sir. Hey, Batman. Yes, sir. Can he not hear me? Did he mute me? Batman, say yes, sir. Bat you better not turn him down, Batman. It's a privilege yeah, for that's you to be in here. So I'll, have to, I'll have to put a little server mute on you if you do that. Batman, can you hear him? He, well, he, I can he hear lots he, of people, sir, but why would I want to answer a pedophile like you? See, there you go. There you go. That's, can called, I running, that's called running away is what that's called. Batman, you haven't shown me that anywhere in the Bible it says that you can't have, marry a four-year-old, right? the only verses he'd be able to quote you see when you have no morality you have no reason why it's wrong for you to be a pedophile yeah you're not answering my question you're just dodging i did answer your question sir don't be a pedophile no my question was where in the bible does it say that you i've already answered it sir the word pornea where you get your reason for pornography especially pedophilic pornography or bestiality again sir you need to stop that that's why it's wrong because god says don't be a pedophile you're not addressing my question the question was where in the bible does it say you're not able to marry a boy you're too stupid to understand you didn't answer mr batman you didn't answer let me finish my sentence my question was where in the bible it says you're not called the bible calls swine do not care can you mute you again all right my question was where in the bible it says you're not able or you should not marry a four-year-old. Repent your no parents, answer, sir. Buddy. You're on your way to hell. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't that a little unfair? Like, it should be implied that you shouldn't marry a four-year-old. Fucking Jesus Christ, dude. Mr. Batman. Yes, yeah, sir? Why do you keep calling individual people the things that you call them? Why do you keep, like, you talk to Tofi like he's done that shit. He's never done that shit. Nobody justified it. I didn't it. ask why him, you, sir, if he's done that stuff. I didn't say that. As a matter of fact, I asked him if he knew why it was wrong for him to be a pedophile, sir. Now, can you tell me why is it wrong for you to be a pedophile? First of all, I'm not even a fucking knight. Call, call me by my name. My oh, name okay, is sir. Then let me ask you a question, sir. Why is it wrong for you to be a pedophile? Stop calling me sir and I'll talk to you. It's annoying. You're so rote. Okay, sir. Have a nice day, that's, Mr. That's, Pedophile. That's, that's all he have a <laughs> nice have a nice <laughs> life. God, you accuse you accuse several people in this room. Of I didn't accuse anybody. Yes, you did. Oh, you, you, you did straight. It's a moral man, question. It's, it's a don't philosophical be a liar. question. It's don't philosophy. Be a liar, you may not Mr. understand Batman. that because you're too stupid. Tofi, don't be a liar, Mr. Batman. It's not the coming of a Christian. Andrew. Tofi, have you ever asked other Christians like against scriptures against pedophilia? Tofi. Oh, did he actually like lower my volume? Probably. I don't know. Ask oh him. my god. We need additional mods. Ask <laughs> Andricus, can you ask Tofi if he did? Such a good mod. Oh. Tofi, did you did you lower Thomas Tofi? I lowered him, but I mean, I can still hear him. <laughs> he, says he, can still hear him. he says he can still hear you, but Yeah, I lowered him to the point where I can hear, like, <laughs> well, Andrew, so you, ask him, you ask him my question. Then. But I don't hear what he's saying. Let's play he telephone. Can't, he Let's can't play hear telephone. you, Thomas. He can barely hear you. Buddy. Oh, yeah. He's just Everybody, mad because I, okay. I wouldn't give him money. But I, I just wanted to know if Andrew Kiss or if uh, Alex could ask Has he ever asked any other Christians that question? about pedophilia he asked he asked everyone at first so he thinks it's terrible <laughs> like i think we should get rid of him alex ask him the question mr batman no ask tofi well oh, really wait, to what we're doing what we're doing is not moral right because he's like brain damaged 
Like he's got some if he, sort of... he needs he's one of those people who needs this God fantasy. If Mr. Batman loses the, the fantasy of God, his life is going to turn into fucking dust. You got to like understand that some people just fucking need it. They'll die without it. Alex, I don't disagree well, with that. Alexi, well, just ask Tofi the question. He... Tofi, Tof, do you ask that same question to everybody Sir Thomas More is asking? I thought you turned down Mr. Batman, but I apparently ask you turned what? on the same question. What's the question, Thomas? Ugh. Has he ever asked the pedophile question to other Christians? Have you ever asked the pedophile question to other Christians? No, I only asked it to Batman because he kept saying, don't be a pedophile, sir. And I was like, and he's like, you don't know why it's wrong to be a pedophile. And it's just, it was bizarre to me because I don't have think guys, the Bible even mentions pedophilia. He does have, well, yeah, he does, it doesn't. So like, what do you think? What do you think like Vincent's skip answer? It then, Jimmy skip or it. Jimmy? Alex, ask him what he thinks Alex, Vincent or Jimmy's answer would be. You come. Alex. Ask Andricus to ask. Andricus, can yes. you ask, 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 Tofi, ask me again? <laughs> ask Tofi um, what he thinks of Vincent or Jimmy's answer would be. What do you think of what? Ask him what he thinks Jimmy or Vincent's answer to the question would be. Uh, Tiny, what do you think Jimmy or Vincent's answer to the question would be? I don't know, but I mean. Both of them are just like gibberish generators, right? Like they don't. Jimmy okay, just says like right. crazy things. Yeah, he left because he knew he was getting twenty. Damn Tiny, man. can you just turn Thomas back up? I don't want to do that anymore. Hey, Thomas, but don't promise people things like three thousand dollar computers. That's cheating, and I told you it was going to lower your score. If you bought it, mm, people would have thought right. worse of you. Look, I, I would have. You know, it, it dropped down like six hundred dollars of like it's, different it's technologies, and I actually would have or will buy it for him if he ever meets me at IRL. Yeah, see, now he's just changed the conditions, so. Mr. Batman gets you know. eviscerated in these We rooms. never actually agreed on the conditions, Tofi. The condition was nothing. You just said, I'll buy it for you, and then you changed it to be like, oh, well, if you come and meet me. Well, I was yeah. going to, and then people started saying, well, you have to get something out of it, Thomas. And then everybody else started saying, no, don't do it. Richie said, don't do it. Freaking uh, Detroiter said, don't do it, bro. And then I said, don't do it. I'm like, well, shit, I guess maybe I should do it. I don't know. Yeah, okay. you, you know what? Richie and Detroiter say don't do it is because they they don't want me to have like a bunch of shit. <laughs> All right, Thomas, th Thomas, within ten and within ten years, I want you to give him something worth three grand. Okay, just stop okay. talking about it. <laughs> you said you're gonna give it to him. Just <clears throat> eventually give it to him. Make a bunch of money, give him three grand, but let's not talk about it. Like, I initially thought I could just buy him a $300, $400 computer, and then, like, he took the, the $2,000 bit seriously. I'm like, oh, shit, maybe I do have to give him $2,000. And then I was like, wait, I should get something out of it when everybody else said get something out of it. And then everyone said, don't do it. Fuck. Tofi's fully Bro. capable of earning a lot of money. Listen. Listen, Thomas. Listen, Lee. <laughs> Unless... You give me the five hundred seventy-two dollars to buy these uh, these computer parts. I can't be your friend, and I'll, I'm I'm gonna ignore you. Okay. Oh, I was nice, sort of being friends with. I was never friends with you. <laughs> Dang. Ouch. Succubus, do you know Tofi? No. Tofi, let me introduce you to my friend Succubus. That is a good name. Say hi. This is you're awkward as fuck, dude. Sam is right. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sam is actually totally right on this one. Uh, Bro, I just, Sam. I... Hey, what's up, Succubus? Uh -oh. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm listening to this man shoot his shot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Sam, it's, Sam, it's, I, I tried to shoot finished. my shot with Succubus, it's, it's, and it, it did not work. Over. He's I want empty. I want to say I'm surprised, but I mean I'd have to lie. <laughs> Wait, Sam, do I do I know her? Don't I know her from like one of the old servers? She used to be around here a lot. But I feel like I know her. Like I feel like I know. I don't know, like her general beliefs, you know, like things you would learn from just general conversation in these servers, but I can't think of anything. I can't remember anything. I 
It's like it's like actually bothering me. I feel like I'm supposed to know something, but I don't. So it's the only role I see when I click on you is the globalist role. What the fuck does that mean? Um, basically, we need an environmentalist utopia, and the only way that will be carried out is if. We actually have environmentalism. That's why I'm a globalist. And that we have to legislate how we treat the environment globally. Otherwise it won't matter. Politics is a joke. Stop talking about it. Amen. Yeah, it's a tag in the server you're frequenting. What? It's a tag in a server that you are frequenting. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's something that they talk about here. Listen, politics is irrelevant. Maybe. And it's not surprising, right, that people here talk about it. Because most of the people here are just, like, insane or stupid. People on Discord are not necessarily going to be well polished. Wait, it's like you're playing Rust. I was just, I was just playing Rust. Yeah, I play modest. I don't have time for the vanilla grind. I usually play on like two X servers or something. The one mm. I'm playing now is three X, and it's vanilla stacks. necessarily simping or if it was just coming on too strong. You're fine, dude. Yeah, you're not the first. You won't be the last. Oh, I want it. <laughs> I got that feeling. Hey, what's up, atheist pumpkin? You still define atheism as a lack of belief? I define it as a banana. I don't know what that means. I remember when I was a kid, uh, my teachers would tell me that Stalin killed millions in the name of atheism. It was uh, very hilarious looking back on it. It's kind of true. Why is it hilarious?
Torres was the one who has his 500. The server needs to be torched. The one where we pushed the Muslims out of Spain, like, the Muslims should have won, to be honest, because they held you back. Like, that one victory held the Muslims back. Toby, you don't take a particular position on that, right? Like, you're not a moral pilot. Yeah, it's really nice that I can ignore Thomas now. Yo. Hello. Hello. Um, I made this server just so I could hang out with people. Uh, like a, a peanut gallery, as you said. Good job. That's what every, everyone should have their own home. Yeah. Um, yeah, Rust, I, or not Rust. I, I want to talk about Rust at some point because, I mean, I'm on Max and I don't really game at the moment. I mean, I buy Max so I can't, but I do want to play Rust with a, like an interesting team of people in the future and like do the grinding. But while we're grinding, have really interesting conversations, you know, like, like, like sometimes migrant workers, they work in the fields and they're talking the whole time. So it's a shitty job and they don't make much money, but at least they have community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have some people that like the thing about us that is cool is like even if you're playing with some people they don't have to be in direct contact with you sometimes you can just go into another call and they can like use your shit to go fight with people while you kind of just gather it for them right yeah i'm not a great fighter <laughs> i'm definitely not a great fighter like i like i like to talk and like i'll talk with people and farm i don't give a shit like like support the community and i know dudes that are fast twitch and they can like go out there on the front lines and just crush people I've never I played I got it I got it for free uh, was it Ep it's an epic game right and then I realized the frame rate wasn't gonna work on my MacBook Pro I think if I buy uh, I'm sure like I this is one thing I gotta tell you I hope this doesn't bother you I record fucking everything like I've been doing it for years um, oh you're oh I forgot about that the game fuck you're actually playing sweet oh dude that's bomb turn this down a little bit this is my friend's base i made another base um i mean obviously we share but i didn't build it so i thought you said you have like you have social anxiety or something right yeah so i mean like stuff like this i feel like people like they do like sometimes you can just go out and and sort of be social, you know? I think some, some of the online gaming world can't... I mean, Rust is a rough place, so I don't say it could be healthy to, like, go and interact with people without having to be out in public with them all the time. But this is a weird yeah. game to do it because it's so, it's so combat-centric. Yeah, I don't talk to the people on here. I mean, I've met a lot of cool people on here. Um, the one guy that I play with right now, he's, like, 24, but he's very successful. And right. some of his success has come from... The people he is like networked with and partnered with on Rust. So it's just a game, but he's made a lot of money off of it. Yeah, I've I've been working on a game for many many. Fuck, I need to get water. Um, many many years. Like Rust is, I love building. I mean, I definitely love building. I don't mind the building system's kind of cool. It's a little limited, but I mean, it's pretty damn yeah. creative too. Yeah, the limitations make you become even more creative as well. Right. Which, at first, I thought I was really dumb. Because I, I come from Sims building. Which, I mean, obviously it's limited. It has to be for function. 
but there's a lot of options for creativity and on here you have to really redefine creativity with the options yeah i always wanted to be able to like I always wanted to build longer term, right? Like I wanted to like when they were doing Fortnite was always talked about. Like I always wanted like Fort Week, something where people like I think you said something about community and even like sort of communism, didn't you? In the other room, like something very community centric. Well, I mean, someone, yeah, I I was mentioning like a utopia. Communism is not sustainable because communism kind of relies on an amount of economy and people are bad at maintaining the economy. They're always trying to manipulate it. I mean, Communism I, scares me. I mean, me too. A lot of it is name association, but when I like I call I I think of utopia. I I think of it as why utopia. Like, what what would happen if everyone in the world at some point in the future decided to build their own? You know, like what's your ideal world? And everyone did it, and then they started to share the data with each other. Then I think it becomes possible to build something that is not utopia. But, like, which is, for, for the individuals involved, might really simulate it, right? Like, it doesn't take a village. It takes a million villages. And if people really want to live in an amazing way, I think a lot of them have to move, you know? Like, yeah. if you find some kind of a community or a fucking city state somewhere where the people are really on the same page. And kind of like in a math problem, you get to kind of cross off all the common denominators and, and have more time to, for whatever it is you really give a fuck about. I've been I've been inventing shit for a lot of years and I'm getting ready to Well the fucking gunfire is cool. <laughs> like it's like it's like triggering me. I'm getting scared. Yeah. I was listening though. Like I talked to Rise for about fifteen hours in a row one night and she's I mean, I don't know, it was we were both very, very tired, but I there's something about the the way she thinks and, and the way she listens that really, really impressed me. And especially now, like I've been working for years and years, my family had a little bit of money, so I was able to like write and invent and I didn't have to sell anything. But like now like my kid, my daughter's 10, like I said, so I like and I have enough but to live and do my work and invent more shit. But like sh the kids are starting to want things that cost real money. And my and t until I actually publish or like develop an invention and sell it, I don't have a lot of money. My goal is always mm. fuck my headphone just broke. God damn it. I was thinking this thing. It broke. I put it back together. I was going to glue it. And then let me see if I can fix it. It's, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's a very long and strange story. When I got into this community, like a lot of the people just thought I was fucking crazy. Like, like 13% of them still think I'm fucking schizophrenic, which is just a, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Like, okay. Fucking headphones broke again. Yeah. I've heard people say ridiculous shit about rise too. It's just the internet. Yeah, there's a it different. Really is. They yeah, they say things here that no one ever says, like in real life, ever. You know, like yeah. things they and uh, yeah, that that definitely happens. It's been good for me though because like in the real world, you have to deal with trolls. You want to succeed, people are gonna fucking come at you. You know, you can't always be a pure idealist. You need to know how to be on your feet and to deal with fucking trolls. And there's a lot of lot like there's so many trolls. Yeah. I, see, I like, try to fit yeah. trolling in in a way that is natural and not like attacking people or trying to make someone out to be the joke. Right. I mean, there's two, I see there's two, there's really two different categories of trolling. One is, mm -hmm. is the dude who hides under the bridge and throws shit at you like that. That's bacon, but you know, bacon bone probably. Right. I mean, <laughs> I'm not familiar with a lot of the people in there. Uh, in the way that is that a lot of other people are. He he's a notorious like, I'm like a new character here, and I've spent a lot of time talking for like a month, you know, and and he just relentlessly, relentlessly, like falsely says things to try to just purely for reaction, like purely for his own dopamine, and he doesn't really have any content at all. I mean, and then there's then there's Thomas, right? Like Thomas doesn't troll like by being like mean. Thomas trolls by like just going fucking overboard, right? Like trying to pick you up, you know, like yeah. try, trying to put on a display of super confidence and see if it fucking works. I mean, that's more amusing than a pure troll. And then there's and then there's like what I do, I think, which is like trolling is in like the way of, you know, like fisherman troll. You tie. Do you uh, see this? Yeah. Yeah. Is this, this is somebody's. I can't get in. Uh Oh, 
It's a monument. Usually you can get into these. That's glitched. Do you have like a pretty bomb computer or what? What is? Yeah. Like, yeah. Nice. I think it's a game. I'm listening though. Sorry. Oh no, it's all good. All good, dude. Sometimes my favorite shit, like a person that gets lost in a game when we're talking. If like, I mean, I'll go on for a while. So if they lose track, it's not even that serious. Like, it's not like <laughs> yeah. My best. But you were likening it to uh, like a fish. Um. Fishing. Oh, oh yeah. Like you take a, you you get like a lure. You get something that looks like the thing, right? You get a little fish that is a fake version of the fish, right? And you pull it through the water real, real slowly, trying to attract, you know, trying to attract someone to come bite at it. It's not something you force on people. You go out and you and you have something to say, and you kind of let the troll, like the trolls or the genuine people, interact with you by their own choice. Like a lot of people do force it. But you're, I mean, you, you're a woman with a nice voice. Like, you, you you have superpowers, right? You can sit back and do whatever you want. Like, the guys, are, it's more like a feeding frenzy because there's, like, ten times more of them and they all want attention, you know? And they don't... Yeah. I mean, in the real world, obviously, there's, like, my, like for a lot of years, there's, there's been minus points to being a female because of the way the world is. But online, it, it, I think the, at least, sometimes people are sexist, but you also get, a, like, you get more attention. People will let you, like, play your own game and be yourself a little bit more. Yeah, but at the same time, um, I get a lot of men that take it very personally. Uh, like, for example, I was in a community. Uh, I was really worried about Rise going into this community. Right. I told her, please don't join it. Because I, I think she's such a brilliant person. And people will take her for granted. And I don't think she's weak. I think that other people are weak. And it will have a negative impact on her. Right. Yeah, she, because she, they'll lash out at her. Yeah, I'd like to be around when they when they do that. You know, I feel like... I, I really feel like her and I are pretty similar. I mean, I, I, I'm kind of like maybe the... The, the, like I think kind of like what, what Rise would be like if she wasn't like a small woman like like because the world is different you know like if I if I wake up tomorrow and I'm a woman like uh, like everything's gonna be a little different right it's really not yeah. the same you know there's pluses and minuses to shit but like someone like her I, I can I can see like w like wanting to to protect her you know because she yeah. might she might not be weak but that doesn't mean you you still can't be hurt you know like yeah other people will try to just so hard to get under your skin in in this community that I was in and there was a man he went by Zestava on there and he was from Britain he lived there and he really wanted to be close with me so we were friends and it was the holiday season so we spent some time watching some films on a streaming uh, platform right and we had wine and we talked and this was all on discord. So he thought that meant that we had something special, which I mean, that's not what I was trying to do. So when I told him, like, I don't have any interest in that, he got really offended and he doubled down on his attempts to be around me. And I just told him to stop. And he really didn't like that. He thought that I was, like, using him that whole time or manipulating him or something. So he started, like, finding ways to pick me apart. And I had this shitposting fest that I did where a young boy... Hello, Holy Rise. Holy Rise, I oh. met a new friend. This is Alexi. But it's a man. Alex. Hello. <laughs> this is my Norwegian best friend, Holy Rise. I met him on Discord. Oh, it's I'm Holy telling... Rise. Like some... <laughs> His name... I'm watching your stream. Your name is Holy Rise. That's your... His name is Nico, but... Miko. Yeah, Nico. Oh, okay, Holy Rise. Okay. Nikolai. What's up, Nikolai? He... Hello. But I'm telling you about that politics server. No. Which one? The the um the really big one. Do you right, right, are you right. familiar with it? Yeah, I've been in, with Doobie and Fonzo at the top. Yeah, 
that one. Yeah, I've been in there for a long time. Hello, Yoda Box. Well, there was a man in there, and so he was watching me interact with a younger boy in the chat. His name was Cap Capra. Yeah, Capra. And Capra's like 14, but he was a moderator of that server. And he said in caps that his penis had fallen off. And I was like, what? Why? And he said he was masturbating with lavender shampoo. And I was like, why wouldn't you use your spit? So Zastava took screenshots of that and showed it to people and made it look like I was telling this this kid to use spit to like <laughs> pleasure himself and so i was labeled I mean, a pedophile oh my jesus christ and it's like yeah, i don't think that would ever happen to funny, me in real that. life yeah i don't yeah, think that would ever happen to me in real life because i would just tell this guy you know i'm not interested in you that way and he would probably have left me alone or pursued something else but on discord He's trying to save face and make me look like the undesirable one. Even though yeah, I didn't it was very, yeah. you know, personal and, and no one else really knew about what happened. He needed to think, do that. I don't think about that side much. I think about, like, the positives of being a woman. I, don't, I guess I, I don't think enough about what it's like to just get DMs and have guys think for, if you were really friendly with yeah, them. Yeah, because it, it can be very fun. Talk. To come on here and and you know meet really interesting people like you and you realize like that's genuinely something that not everyone has the chance to do and with rise she she became good friends with me and i was so happy that she gave me that opportunity and i tried to let her know like that i really valued that and i think that no one does that on the internet like not enough people anyways well i do and you did i mean i made i made of sure course. She, she, she knew how much i like cared about her like right away yeah and and i think that really should happen more i don't think it happens enough and people try right. to undermine you know how much you can get done over the internet like when he was hitting oh, on me in there just now i said you know this is the internet but I mean that because, like, romantically, you're really not available to people on the internet. You just aren't. Shit should be kept separate. Like, just like yeah. kids in school, they, I think they should do their lessons, and if they learn their lessons, they should be able to move to another class, and then they should socialize fucking separately. Like, sexuality and intellectual engagement should be kept, for the most part, fucking separate. I mean, I know... I feel the that, same. I even told my friends, hey, why don't you just, you know, date later in life? And they just didn't want to do that. They wanted to be with their boyfriends and stuff and i was like com completely content just focusing on school yeah i waited till i was 36 to have my daughter like um so yeah my my family members they had children very quickly so as a result i kind of outshine all of them even though i haven't really gone to college or anything Right. And I don't like that. I, I'd like to be surrounded by helpful, intelligent, successful people. I don't want to be, you, you know, looked to as the only intelligent one. No, I like to be the dumbest fucker in the room. I'm not saying it's easy to do, but... <laughs> yeah. A lot of people want, I mean, I, want to I be love the, they want to be the top dog. Information. That's what I've always done. That's my biggest problem, actually. Like my, my mom... <laughs> She taught me how to sponge like a motherfucker, and I was a sponge already. Thing is, like, then, uh... Sometimes you sponge the wrong up, so stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, eventually I was able to squeeze some of it out, but the, the, there's still some kind of memory of it written out. Like, everything that, you, that goes through your brain kind of remains in some way. Like, it does touch and change you. But, yes. so I, I'm, still, I'm still a sponge, but I, I'm kind of addicted to creative work, so I figured... What I do, I, I vent a lot, and I, tr I use it to move my brain forward. Like, I, like I pull in. I, I eat mad negative energy every day. Like, on the internet, like, like you said, it's an amazing place. We should be doing better shit. Are we doing better shit? Not really. In the absence yeah. of doing better shit, people squabble like motherfuckers, right? Like, they just...
they, 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 they get in conflict all the time because there's really nothing for them to do. You know, there's like a million people right now just not actually doing anything on Discord at all. They're just killing time. Especially because of this virus. Yeah, that has, and we could all be like, we're very close to a world though when people, when the ga the gamification of more down to earth simulations start to appear and people realize that you can go into the game world, into the virtual space and you can create things which can be translated back to reality. Once people see that and they start to see the next step in crowdsourcing, which is like citizen sourcing, I think mm -hmm. you'll see people working a lot more to build communities and shit, to build like Camelots, to build YO Utopias. Maybe it just stays in the game, but if you get the formula right, you know, and you meet enough people and you network correctly, sometimes like the people of the world just bring together like $5 billion and while, while communism isn't going to work, there's a lot of ideas in it that probably would make sense inside of an enlightened society, which we've never seen, in my opinion. Yeah. And if we ever did see it, it was small scale and didn't really reach any climactic position before it was yeah, snuffed if do, out. If you do it today, it can go viral as fuck. Like, like yeah. people are great at cop. We're more, we're better at copying than we are at creating. So, like, if you you build one thing and show people. I, like, I care about net givers the most. Some people take and some people give. There's been books, you know, and they describe people with these different cute terms they come up with for a selfish person and an unselfish person but i just be like net givers like I, like a lot of people think if you're social-esque or communist-esque like that you're weak and you're poor a lot of people who feel that way are smart and they're strong right like they just want to be happy and they know that they're not going to be happy in a selfish fucking capitalist world eating dogs yeah. you know they they can make a lot of money but they don't want to do it by themselves because they're going to look at their fucking neighbors and think oh god what like why are they not happy? You know, not like instead of mm -hmm. making a bunch of money and helping people, you just build something good up with the people together as it happens. But you need like mm -hmm. you need rises to do that. You need you need brilliant people, and then a lot of people who just give a fuck. Like I do give a fuck. You know. Yeah. Probably I probably give too many fucks. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's hard to to focus on yourself as well when when you're trying to focus on everyone else for everyone else because they're focusing on themselves which yeah, is like been... to be completely selfless is not always a good thing no it's not but so luckily in my case i was able i was i was that but I, since i was only working with words all the time it didn't really matter there was no terrible effect of being other focused all the time but at this point i'm realizing it is absolutely necessary to be a demonstration. Like, no, I cannot build a society or like, like anything inside my own self. I'm one person, but even, and, and building that society, building whatever it is, maybe it's a little, maybe it's a tiny fucking town that has a great algorithm. Just to get to that place, because it doesn't exist yet, I have to take proper care of myself in the world as it stands and work with people with the technology as it exists. You know, like if you stay in fantasy, <laughs> Nothing ever fucking happens. So I'm working really hard to kind of come back down to earth and finish my shit because the, the opportunities that are in front of us with the, with the internet are just, they're not, being, they're not being taken. I mean, the Bezos is taking them, right? Use networking and logistics to make fucking billions. But the people, they don't, they don't unionize, you know? They don't seem to join on the internet and build anything. Yeah, I was speaking to someone who... He he worked with fire hydrants in a city, and it, they had a union, and he was the representative. And he said it takes a lot of his time, and he often is having to, to unionize just just to make sure that they maintain their, you know, their holidays off and stuff like that. And when it gets down to the nitty-gritty, he's the only one deliberating with a lot of other people that can easily just take away their their vacations and say, you know, you have to make compromise if you want the appropriate safety measures to be taken in your job, then you have to compromise your, you know, Christmas or whatever. Right. And that makes me upset. Like it that shouldn't be the thing that's online. They make it a less than zero sum game actually. They they make it negative. Yeah. Um, fuck, what the hell was I going to say? Shit. 
if there were more unions, I'd hope that they, they were better, that it wasn't always such a disproportionate compromise. That a lot of it. unions are that... pieces of shit. Yeah. No, they are. Especially firefighter that, that's... units. They're some of the most corrupt motherfuckers ever. Corruption <laughs> ruins everything. Though. I think the, the, the real unions in the future, they, they don't fight with companies. They are the fucking companies, right? Like, if you're going to unionize with a bunch of people and you know how to run the shit, you know how to do the work, you don't need the fucking company. But you're right. If you have a corrupted union, it's, it's, wor it's just as bad as a corrupted anything. Yeah, because they're putting all of the strain on this one man who's just trying to fix some damn fire hydrants, you know? And he was tired. Like, he he had one one simple job, but he also had to run the union. And, I mean, he took that into his own hands. And he maintains his position because he cares. But he feels like he has to maintain his position. Is he, like, a private contractor fixing fire hydrants? or like working No, he with works the for the city. I don't talk to him anymore, <laughs> but he's one of the people I spoke to on, like, Kick, Kick Messenger, and we spoke a little bit of, of politics every once in a while. I mean, you need you need a system that prevents corruption. You can never rely on 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 a series of people being so good that that a broken system won't turn them into shit. It will always eventually run into a weak link who can then take down whatever the fuck you've built. I think I think it might take like I I look at things at the extreme first. I think what would it really take? So like I work in fiction, and <laughs> sometimes I just come to the point. Well, if you really want to do it right, what you do is maybe you maybe you elect a king. I don't know. Maybe you elect a king. That king has a crown. That crown doesn't go on top of his head. It just goes around his fucking neck. And if the people decide, it blows off his fucking head, right? And if it gets close to the line, maybe the king says, fuck it, I'm going to abdicate, right? Like, the people are not liking me. I can't solve their problems. And the one power they have is to fucking capitally punish me. I mean, that's not what's going to be in the real world. I don't think they're going to put crowns on fucking president's heads and say, listen, if you fuck us, you're just going to die, right? But the people don't have the rights that they need, and the leaders have way more rights than they need. And if we make actual public service, it's probably going to be a huge step towards a better world because who's going to run for office realizing that it's harder? It's truly harder than being a regular citizen, right? That the, your rights don't go up. Your rights go fucking down. Protect mm -hmm. the people at all costs, I think, is what we probably have to do in some way. Fuck the leaders. Make it as hard as you want. Good people will still run. They'll be like, oh my god, this is like a system that's capable of seeing the world change. Like, I'm going to dedicate my life to this shit for real. Not, who can I network with to get a job at fucking Marlboro after I retire? Mm -hmm. This is kind of why those situations with like Freemasons and stuff like that scare me a little. They're so self-involved that even if their purpose is to make the world better they're kind of just making their own world better so as you say if if we represent examples where everyone gets to gain something from these imposed systems perhaps we will all follow suit more willingly but also corporations are like no don't look over there that's not possible <laughs> I feel like a system where, like, you, you could literally have a system and build it. Because there's a lot of good people. You take a million people, there's going to be some fucking awesome people in there. You could say, okay, who, who wants to run for president? The president lives with no more money than the poorest person. Like, not like you know, fuck the capital punishment. The president lives with no more resources than the poorest person in the society. Right? Like, you, you want to have a better life? make shit better, you know? Find the poorest person and lift them up. And then find the next poorest person and lift them up. What they, they live on us, and I'm get, I mean, I'm personally sick of it. A lot of people are sick of it, and they don't seem to have any way out. You know, we bitch a lot, but how, how, do, you, how do you beat it? Like, like, how do you defeat it? You can't actually defeat evil. You have to fucking replace it with something greater. Yeah. Do you watch any Star Trek? It's been a long time. I watched some. I definitely watched the season back in the day. I know it's like very utopian, and I probably will. It's, I'll probably go back to it at some point. Maybe I think sometimes I don't watch creative things that are similar to what I'm thinking because I figure once they put those ideas in my head, then I can't 
put those ideas in my head myself. You know, like I like to go on creative journeys where I find all sorts of new shit. And the more of it that's new, I feel like the more power you get when you make like a genuine creative discovery on your own, you get some like extra power and some extra momentum. I mean, someone might just tell you about that thing or you might watch it in a science fiction story and then that part of your brain's already activated so you can't kind of flow through it to some new thing. You mm-hmm. just kind of jump to it magnetically because somebody already like put, you know, modified some neurons in your brain to, to see that idea in a particular way. I mean, what this is kind of why I don't like watching uh, like music videos. Ruins the what's the song it ruins the song doing? for me because I I think of songs as their own story or their own experience and then they hand deliver what their you know sensational idea of it is which isn't even sometimes the the actual people that are I feel like I hear someone in game. The people that are they're making the producing them are just trying to make them clickbait or more likely to get views or whatever instead of emotionally in touch with the song. Or it's just like yeah. all fast cars and drinking and you're just like, okay. I mean, I work with video all the time, but it's really, it's not great for us like landscapes and shit are fine like being in a virtual reality with gorgeous landscapes whatever it's fine um but looking at a a manufacturer recorded image too much takes that ability away from you like books and talking and like the songs are the things that really have the greatest effect on your brain by far and yeah like music videos are really almost never what you think they you know because you usually hear the song first right so like they're usually Mm -hmm. not what the fuck you're thinking it is. It's just some hyper-focused, probably exaggerated attempt to, you know, probably strike a nerve. Yeah. And spread. Or I mean, be memorable. Is, you know? Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I, I'm I, publishing a book, and I will never publish more than one book, and it's actually not so much a book. And I, like, I kind of say that's not, I'm, I'm going to try to tell you as little as I possibly can, right? Like, that's the goal to tell you as little as I possibly can about this world so that when you when you walk into it, you don't have any unnecessary uh, preformed conceptions that relate to what I saw, right? Like, sure, I see the whole world. You could, like, you could walk into, in, into our game engine and even though all you, like, it would probably be like rust in the beginning, right? In the, like, you're in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing there. Can I press a button and show you the entire, like, sim civilization that I've built? Sure. Am I going to show it to you right away? No. You know, no, I'm not going to show you all my fucking ideas. No one's going to show you all their ideas. Like, come in first and and have your own ideas. You know, take a minute in an empty space with nobody that has a gun that's going to shoot you and and just, you know, look around and think. Like, what what do you, like, you have a gorgeous landscape. It's completely virtual and it's completely free. What do you want to do, you know? I mean, fighting is cool, too. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, but you you can always just copy whatever you build and then have your fight, you know, which destroys the city. And then you just restart your city again. You know, it's like nothing's permanent. So you can, you can have like rust style combat and the edge to it. But I like the open world shit. Like, look at that. It's just, it really, it really it's gorgeous. Sucks. This game is, is just gorgeous. I mean, it's, we're really not very far away from what I call virtue worth, which is really just, you imagine if Google said, fuck it, we're going to, we're going to like break the world up into fucking shards and you're going to be able to parachute down and land on the street, you know, of the any anywhere in the fucking world. Like anywhere, you know, anywhere. I mean, obviously probably with more fidelity as is the case today if you drop near an existing city or something, but that like we're very close to that. When people will I mean, in my opinion, they're going to go back to visit arcades like when I was much younger because even in like 3 years from now, the cost to truly immerse somebody virtually in my opinion like will be about 40 grand can normal working people afford 40 grand no <laughs> they can't yeah. could could you have like uh even though it's a terrible phrase could you have a timeshare system so like 12 kids in a neighborhood could come online find each other and each take responsibility for like two hours a day of a brilliant 24 ever system yeah and then so like that way I mean, it's, it's, it, these are my ideas. Like how, like, how do you build 
an amazing network because this looks cool. I mean, you're you're stuttering for me right now a little bit, but I don't I don't know if that's you or yeah i've heard my stream is a little bit glitchy but it's fluid for me when i'm playing it's really bouncy how are you starting maybe that i mean it's fine it's it's completely fine i mean no it's looking like that oh Oh, (laughs) it's totally fine it doesn't it's not what 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 rate do you what uh resolution are you streaming at i just tell it to stream i think I mean, you could, yeah, but they you give you a choice like 15 frames a second and stuff like that. Yeah, well, no, if, settings. if you just directly stream the, the game, then it's a little bit different. I think they just stream whatever well, your screen you to, is. I mean, if you click go live, you're on a PC, obviously, right? So if you click go live. Yeah, it's not on the I mean, go it's, live. It's 1096. Oh, there, okay. There's something wrong with the, with the fucking thing. Discord? It, it, it's fucked. No, the, the PC. Her PC? This one? Yeah. I mean, it's probably the same thing that, that does the, the... Why it stutters when you pick people up. It's, it's fucked. Hmm. Yeah, it hasn't always been so. like that, but... I don't know. She it doesn't have, have started a bad that PC at like, all, though. No, but the, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna open Rust. Oh wait, did I take it? I bet I took it off my computer. It's probably got a million updates. I mean, I would play. Like, I'd love to. Like, I th- I could imagine playing it at like. I wish they had some kind of an almost cartoon setting. Like, just get like get rid of all the distractions, all the leaves, all the details. Just like put every asset as like a. Okay, let's. I'll try this. Yeah, there's a barren setting. And then obviously pretty... all of my settings are on like super high. What's your CPU usage? Well, not in there, like in uh, actual like I don't Windows know. usage. Do you have Control to Shift manager. Escape. Yeah. Then look at the CPU. Um, I've never seen Discord use like high CPU, but it could be. No, but the, when you when you stream, it uses like 40 percent. Oh, that might be the case. Yeah. I mean, I have trouble. I play Slither, and I try to. I mean, I'm on a Mac and a laptop. It doesn't help, but I've never really been able to stream super in a super smooth way on here yet. Look at what I'm streaming now. Um, wait, what about, what about what you're streaming now? It's, oh, there you I, go. Yeah. 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 Look at that, 98% there. CPU. Yeah, um, if, if you, if she streams rest, it goes over, uh, or it peaks at 100, 100%, so. Yeah, that's probably but, why it's stuttering. I mean, uh, she, she has running a, around I, in the game I right three. now. Yeah. I mean, I mean the we game were... can run fine, but the, since the CPU is pinned well, at 100, it, it doesn't look What's good. taking Wait, that at 100? Or... We only saw 50% for Rust. Yeah, but when the when Discord is streaming Rust, it's different than streaming the test manager. What the hell just happened? So it, it, the, the Discord just yoinks all the, all the power. It's like... Usually for me it's like thirty to forty percent, but and her her piece her CPU is like a little bit newer, but but a little bit lower powered. Now I'm actually curious. Let's do it. Hey, what the hell is it, Dom? It's interesting. Do you guys have any experience with eGPUs at all? I wonder. Uh. If... I know my friends use it, or one of my friends who is like a graphics. Ah, uh, he he makes like uh, movies and shit, and uh, or uh, what's it called? Not movies. Uh, commercials for uh, for like companies, and he uses it on his Mac. I think he makes it. I just hate, I just, I'm so, 
I'm a creative. I, I just prefer the simplicity of my acts. I really probably would have played way more games if I had a PC, so I'm not I'm not gonna fucking complain. It could be fun Jesus, to watch this. Discord somebody and does talk take about a lot of CPU. I got a thread ripper and it's taking a shitload of CPU. I'm, I'm not lying to you, man. That. Shouldn't fucking no, it should, because cause you're literally like encoding and, and streaming, which takes a fuck ton of CPU. Like if you if you ever tried to stream something with OBS, it it literally owns your CPU. So like I'm not surprised. Like what is, what does it cost to make a machine that can handle all of it? Like streaming, recording, playing the game. Like how much does it cost for a machine? It depends where you're starting. If since you have. Yeah, since you have literally a Mac, you'll have to do it all. Yeah, I mean, if you, yeah, you you'd have to. It will cost you probably. Uh, I don't know, like twelve hundred maybe. What are you trying to do, like a uh, gaming and everything? <laughs> I want, yeah, I mean, I want gaming to be able to and game streaming and capture cap I want to ca at least capture I don't have I mean I'll stream at a lower quality I want to capture though like I'm trying to make some actual yeah I'd say more. minimum 1200 bucks yeah, probably I agree with that and then, minimum, and then if you want it to be like if you, if you maybe maybe bump up to like 60 FPS and shit then you're gonna be looking at like 1500 maybe you, you're I mean, gonna spend a thousand dollars on the graphics card so so right. I'd say no. probably around two thousand. I mean, yeah, maybe, Mac, yeah. That's, if you want an RTX, cheap, yeah, yeah. Being on a Mac is so expensive yeah. for what you get that that's actually that doesn't sound bad at all. Like I'd like to be able to record it so that like like take friends of mine on adventures through some of the the more famous games like as we talk about some shit and and be able to just capture it so at least it looks good enough that someone who played that game and loved that game can watch it and be cool with it, right? Like not have any problem like oh this doesn't look good enough i don't feel immersed i mean if it's only 1200 bucks that's 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 good to hear actually that's yeah i mean if, if if this was like five years ago you'd have to just spend like at least 2k but uh nowadays with the with the power of the of the i guess mid-end it it really it really is way way cheaper I can have the lowest and the, like RTX or maybe one of the newer ones where it's like sixteen sixties or some shit. Where right. it's it's better for for less, which is cool. I mean, I I guess if I'm doing that, I, I I use a Mac for all my work. But I guess if all I'm doing is using it as like a move, like a game and a movie making machine, like I don't need a Mac, right? I'm I'm gonna be in game all the time where you can't even tell the difference, right? Like there's no. See if my stream is stuttering because I'm playing something really CPU intensive too. Hold on, I'll check. It is. It is. Yeah, it's 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 all the way fucked actually. Holy it's, shit! I think. It's cool. I can I can t count the frames per second, okay? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, eight. Dude, that nine, can be kind of fun. Dude. Messing with 12, you. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, it's probably like, probably like four frames per second. Holy Actually God. trash. I kind of uh, thought a one frame, like a one frame per second game, could be kind of cool. It was a game. That's back ridiculous. Called... What the? No, hell? no, like just it flashes. You got to make a decision, right? You just get one fucking second. You got to make your decision. I mean that's, that's rust. Where you had to do that. That's rust, to be honest. One frame. That's the difference. With, yeah, your frame uh, limit is the difference between dying and living in this game. Yeah, of course. Because I got 120 just... frames a second right now. Yeah, with but, full but since your <laughs> CPU is well, pinned, you're... you you get fucked. It's not even pinned. It's 62 percent. I mean, you oh, then it's like the down. streaming of. Yeah. No, should... but then it's like the streaming of Discord, which, which yeah, it's got to be Discord. They've yeah. cut down. They they've increased the numbers of people that can use, and I think they've throttled the throughput for. Everybody. Yeah, there's some some shit that's happening. Yeah, I it don't was, know. If you're, I, 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 I was it like that, that, that before? No, only? no, no. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. At yeah, all. my stream used to be fine, but yeah. honestly, um, after they changed it for the COVID nineteen thing. 
So yeah, but Dakota's yeah. looks good. Like I was watching it yeah, on my but computer Dakota, this morning. He, he has like, a fucking insane PC too. So. Yeah, he's like rich as fuck, and yeah. he probably doesn't care. Just buys yeah. stuff again and asks someone else to build it. Yeah. I'm rich as fuck, and I buy whatever I want, and I build stuff still. <laughs> Good job, Box. You're so fucking cool, actually. What? If I if I asked him, he probably would be like, uh. This and that is all I know for sure, but the rest is just the good stuff. But maybe not. Mm -hmm. So what? What is? Uh, I mean, it depends if you're if you're really into it or not. You know? If it, if it's not, if they're not into it, then it's like then just give me the best. Yeah. And I don't care what what it costs or. Also, though he's, is. he seems like he'd probably be a little bit more likely to be like uh, looking into it to make sure the person's yeah. not like. Shh, like fucking, fucking him over. over. I mean, yeah. there's yeah. actually some good PC builds. And I was actually it's... considering it. I mean, especially... I mean the, the thing is, it's not the the margin of of buying PC over building it yourself is is really gone down over. The yeah, years. exactly. Like, and, usually... and they actually make it nicer too. Yeah, yeah. You can you can have people like professionally like fucking cable management shit, and it it will cost you maybe like. 50 bucks more for yeah. that over like over like a, a build that is uh 1200 you know or 1500 yep. and that's like that that 50 dollar really isn't anything to write home about when you when you get like a perfectly managed system that will probably be better in the long run and have uh the what's it called uh, warranty like more years so there there really isn't a, 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 and they except make being like a very enthusiast too. yeah and if you're not like a super enthusiast then there's n i i don't recommend anyone build their own pc no, me neither it's, it's literally just a hassle more than anything yep i i just How do fun? it because i've been doing it for i, I years. like it because it's fun yeah i like yeah. it because it's fun i would be Doing it since I was a kid, so. I mean, yeah. someone said, "Did you guys, when you said I'm rich as fuck, were you being serious or was that just being silly?" I'm being serious. <laughs> I didn't so, know that about well, Yoda Box. That's new news. But... Yeah, that's new news. Well, some news is good news. <laughs> this work? I mean, it doesn't really. No, that, that that's the wrong anything. one. But we know how to make it. I'll make it. So let's switch. I think I did the wrong. I was trying to. You have that video sharing link. Is that just for the other room? This one, yeah, yeah is for culture. All right, I'm, I'll just want to fix that. Get, oh, okay. Oh, wait, that's not working either. So I think it's Discord that's messing up then. It's got to be. Wow, usually oh, that yeah. type of link works. There's another link type no, that hasn't been working. Because I'm, I'm streaming and looking at my stream, and it's the exact same lag well what's the cpu usage oh yeah we got oh, saw it. no the oh, cpu usage now. on that one is also the same it, it doesn't look at change how good it looks look at how good it looks though she's fine see? i literally can't see no mobile though that's, that's oh that's yeah easy. he doesn't because he's like on this. mobile he doesn't have access are you getting on your computer soon yeah i can well, There's I'm no actually right seeing now. it smooth on my screen now. It's good. What it's the good. hell? It's a, di it's, a di it's a different system. The system allows multiple people to go. So this is this this is nice. This works fine. Yeah. Yeah, we could all. You know, you know what I do? Like, let's see. Let's get out of her stream for a second. Like, I love to do this. Like, go in. Oh wait, let's click on this again. And then like click off. Like you know, like when you click off, like I'll send a screenshot. Actually, you know what? I'll just share my screen. That's really the best. I think I think sh screen sharing is has, like I can do fucking amazing things. Like, like I'm watching now. I can see her game. I start I start uh, sharing my screen. To to me, this shit absolutely looks like a fucking game already. Like I got the t two guys with the avatars, but she's she's streaming a, ga a game. I mean, I'm right now. I'm obviously hedging my bets, right? Like playing roulette. If, if you think she has the most interesting shit, you, you, you double click on it, right? You zoom in on it, you're watching the most interesting thing. 
if somebody's also watching a group of people and your stream is in that, they might see you watching her stream, and if it's super interesting, then they watch that. And it actually, I think it can distribute the server load and allow you to like, because like, who wants to see people's faces? I don't want to see people's faces on the internet. No, I want to see what's either. on their fucking, I want to see what's on their fucking screen, you know? Yeah. Like, and if people do that, like something that's really awesome, like people will just start clicking on it, which will feed it through their stream, you know? And then all of a sudden you could get like a million people to come watch some shit with a bit of a mesh delivery, I hope. I don't know. My cousin was, was he's rich as shit. He's got like $50 million. He was one of the first people to ever stream to, I think, a million people, like live video. Um, so he would have, I'd have to talk to him about how to, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, that I sounds interesting. about technology. But like, I look at this, I yeah, love it. it. It just, it looks like, like, you're like, the, like right now it's me and whoever the yellow symbol is, you know, we're, like we're on the bottom. So we're fighting against the guy with the glasses and M, <laughs> you know, or, or it'll say, okay, fuck it. There's a warp and it'll be like M and I are now fighting the two guys on the right. Right. Kind of like musical uh, discord. So I, I noticed your stream is actually jumpy, and uh, M's stream is like nice and smooth. Yeah, um, I'm probably I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I was record. Let me stop recording and see what happens. Hold on.